Did You Know Podcast, episode 76. Round of applause. Peace. I need more. I need more. I need more. There we go. We will get evicted. I promise you that. If this set changes next week, it's because we got kicked out. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 76. Oh, this is a special, special week. I feel like this is going to be an extra funny, extra long, extra special podcast. I know there's probably a lot of new people here, so new people, listen up. If you're new here, if you haven't already, you see the subscribe button isn't pressed. You're If you look even more below that, you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name. Go ahead and. Fill that out. You're even more wrong. And guess what? Get your damn good karma if you do both of those things. This is the You Should Know podcast, the You Should Know family, the best damn family in the world. You know why? Because they notice things that we do secretively. The You Should Know family is always watching. They always got our backs. They always are here to support us. And guess what? A lot of you have asked Peyton and Cam, why? is the merch website locked. If you're an OG here, you know why. There's some cleaning up going on. There's some additions going on. That means the new merch is right around the corner. And guess what? To those special few people that wanna see us face to face, we will be announcing our next live show in about a week, maybe even less. So be sure to follow on Instagram at PSH8, at Cam Kennedy 22 and at You Should Know Podcast so you can get that announcement. And you know who gets that announcement first? You guessed it. It's the Koala Club. You wanna know what the Koala Club is? It's our Patreon. It's for the real loyal behind the scenes people. They get to see everything early, get special access, extra content every single week. Not one piece of content. Sometimes you get five pieces of content a week. If you think one episode isn't enough here on the You Should Know Podcast, click the link below, patreon.com slash You Should Know Podcast, get early access to tickets, merch, announcements, bonus episodes, inappropriate things. Guess what? 10 Minute Talks with Mama Liv. Guess what? We have a special guest on this episode today. A very big surprise. A lot of you were very happy to see us hanging out together. We have the one, the only, Leo Skeppy on the podcast with us today. Round of applause for Leo Skeppy. Leo Skeppy is a loose cannon. I love that guy. He's a funny guy. A lot of the things we talked about were a little over the hill. A lot of X-rated stuff. We didn't wanna just scrap that forever. If you're 18 and up, that will be available for you on the Patreon, all that naughty, nasty stuff. Put some headphones in, close the door, your mama don't wanna hear it. Guys, I love you so much. This is the best podcast family in the world. You do not understand how appreciative we are for every single one of you. Do you understand me? Do you? I love you. And comment right now, I love you back, Peyton, because I have commitment issues. All right, now on to the rest of the episode. Today we're here with a sponsor for your bouncing bundle of joy. No, we're not talking about a baby. You damn right we're not talking about a baby. We're talking about your baby makers. And that's right. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Manscaped. But just like babies, your delicate little guys have sensitive skin and deserve products that are not only skin safe, but made with safe ingredients. That's where Manscaped's Platinum Package comes in. From razors to shower care, this package goes above the gold standard for your body hair. So treat your beautiful boys to the world's finest toys at manscaped.com and use our code YSK for 20% off plus free shipping. Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is a one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. I feel like I'm the one who deserves it all. I would... I'd argue that. I think they deserve it all. They designed this package to allow you to fully align your entire hygiene routine with elite products. Inside the Platinum Package, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, my favorite part, (laughs) Ultra Premium Body Wash, Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, Ultra Premium Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Spray Toner, Anti-Chafing Boxers, and the Shed Travel Bag to hold your goods while traveling. Ooh, I love that part. Again. The Platinum Package 4.0 covers all the bases from head to toe and hair to ball fro. Get 20% off your free shipping with the code YSK at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code YSK. 20% off and free shipping 
It's God sent. Use code YSK at manscaped.com. Use the platinum package because the gold standard is no longer good enough. Now, on gold. to the rest of Pla- this episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Ooh, we got co host Cam back in the studio. Oh, thank you. My round of applause is always disgusting. You know what? I love you more than you love me. That's what I know. You know, that's not true. No, it's not. Oh. No, it's not. We had a long conversation today about that. You started getting aggravated how many times I called you. The only the only phone call I got aggravated is because there was a beautiful homemade sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin right in front of my face, and I was trying to eat it while I was scorching hot. You know I taste better than a sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin. I won't disagree. <laughs> gotcha. Tricked him. He thought I was going to say no. Stop shaking those little... Well, ain't nothing little on me. Give me some round of applause, part two. Uh. We got co-host Cam back, back in the studio. I missed you. And you know what? I like your lay. I like what you're doing with yourself. You're you're like a fine gent. You're a fine chap. You're a fine chap. I'll take a fine chap. You're a fine chap. Uh, I'm not wearing socks, though. I'm not wearing drawers. Okay. Want to well, switch? Nope. You got, me, you got me beat. Those shorts are too loose to not have underwear on. I'm not going to lie. If you did one acrobatic thing, a nut would just fall out, <laughs> and it'd be like, what are we doing? No, it's you ever worn a, worn a belt? A belt. Let's, yeah, I've worn a belt. Well, I have too right now. Cheer us. I, I can never put it past you. Just how sick and twisted your little mind is. Well, I'm going outside, and the clouds are really big. Bro, your leg looks broken. Like, look at it. You were like... No, the only thing oh, broken shit. about me is my heart. Oh, you're hip-hop, Bubba. You hurt. do got bad hips. No, I do. Well, hip. Yeah. Hips. Not, no, hip. You got geriatric hips. Hip. You know what you're going to need when you're older? A brace. Are you getting two-story... A dog. Are you, are you ideally getting a two-story house? I mean, no. Uh, well, when like when we have kids, oh yes, like you're gonna be walking up and down the stairs. You'd be like, go get it, it's upstairs. <laughs> not walking on no damn stairs. You barely walk up our stairs now. I love you though. So um, you're getting a two-story house, probably. Probably when kids are young and growing up. Don't care too much. Space. I was saying okay. that because your hip is so bad. You're gonna need one of those things that little, little seats. The, zzz, I've always wanted that. Oh my god, I always wanted that though. I always wanted a life away. <laughs> I always wanted. Uh, I was, you know who you are. I always want so if, you're still, if you're still around. They're yeah. definitely They're gone. Definitely not. Um, I always wanted that, but not for its use. A like life I, alert? I didn't, oh no, not a life alert. Oh. I wanted that for my grandma, but um. <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me, Ma? She tunes in. She watches this. Next time you come over, she's gonna give you one of these. <laughs> Mima knows I love I'm her. in my bag so deep, like a grandma with a peppermint. Anyway. Remember that peppermint story I told you when I used to save him in the back of the seat? Yeah. For later? That's smart. Um, that's disgusting, though. Uh, I didn't want it to sit in the chair and go up very slow because that's pointless. I can mm-hmm. beat it clearly. I wanted it to take it halfway, pause it halfway, and I always wanted to jump from the top to the halfway point, like a checkpoint almost. Like if I, if I were to fail, I'd start there and then go from the middle to the bottom. You know, very strange, Todd. You know what you could do? Just walk to the middle step. But it's not fun. There's no pogo activities. That's why I used to play a game called Blanket Fall Down the Stairs. <laughs> I swear to God. Dude, I y'all's group suck. They have, like, played, names. We literally played a game called Blankets Fall Down the Stairs. I think you told that story, but, dude, that's sick. Like, you couldn't have been, like, so Blanket Jump. You couldn't have been, like, Blanket <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We, we played a sentence. We play, yeah. I had no creativity. It's like calling tag, like run from your friends, and if you get tagged, then you're it. Yeah, it's like count to a number, then run. From- it's like, God damn. <laughs> like, have some like creativity. Bro, no, like, just think about this. We mm-hmm. would get bored on the video game. We would literally grab comforters off the bed, yeah. be at the top of a staircase, wrap yourself up, and just slide down them. Yeah, we, me and my brother, whenever my parents got big shipment boxes, we would turn the boxes in our houses, Ooh. and we would live like hobbits. See, we didn't have, I didn't have big boxes Your dad up. worked at UPS. What, is he going to bring home merchandise? <laughs> he did. His, his job is to deliver well, it. I'm not going to say. I don't know if that's illegal. Huh? The, the couch? Didn't he bring that couch at oh, one time? Oh, no, no. That was a, a mattress. But a mattress. It, it didn't have a box. No, it did. Mm. I was like 19. <laughs> was I supposed to play in it? If I was like six, hell yeah. We went to Ikea the other day. Not the other day. It was actually a long time ago. It was an unbelievable long time ago. I remember like I was like, do you, I want to play in that box. Remember you said I that? I do remember you yeah, said that. Yeah, I love the box. No, I. one thing I was always envious of is I, 
I didn't have the way our couches were set up growing up. I never really had a good couch. No architecture to make a fort. You know, every kid's dreams to make this just amazing fort. Oh my God, you didn't make forts. No, I did. But oh, I I'm, I'm getting on you because this just you, you, this you just have shows to make it what you have. Yes, no, it just shows your blandness. Like you are salmon. You are you are you are. Um, like sheet paper, I'm like not you're not even paper. construction paper that's colorful. Like you, you're what not even copy paper, asshole. What is sheet? Oh my god! What is sheet paper? No, no, dumbass. I'm talking about construction paper. Oh yeah, but you said sheet paper. What the hell is sheet paper? The shit in notebooks, dumbass. Oh, notebook paper. <laughs> Lined notebook paper? What the hell is a sheet paper? You were trying to say copy. Copy paper no, is plain white. No, it's not. Yes, no, it no, is. no, no, that is, but that's not what I was talking about. What the hell is sheet paper? Sheet. Professor, what is sheet paper? Sheet paper. Okay. It's a sheet of paper. Coming man. from where? You Cause know. Because if it's blank and white, it's copy paper. No, you can get. If it's lined, college, or uh, what's the other one? Uh, MMA. No. <laughs> What? No. There's two different um No, listen, dumbass. Rules. You're saying you're saying what sheet paper it? has to come in a notebook. Like that kind of paper. I'm saying sheet paper is a thing. It's not no, real. No, listen. You're got to piss me off. You're about to piss me off. Off. Listen. You know notebook <laughs> You know notebook paper, right? Yes. So notebook paper. You, oh, so you're saying it only can come in a notebook. Huh? You're saying that can only come in a no, in a spiral notebook. No. Exactly. They, they you sell can, it by itself. Exactly. That's sheet paper. No, it's not. What is that then? That's still define sheet paper, and then we might be on the same. Like I'm so not even being funny. It's hold on the side, three of them normally. Okay. Lines, and you can do Cornell notes on them, and it's got part for a headline. That's yes, literally it notebook is. paper. Yes, That's it literally is. Notebook yes, paper. it is. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That means to one thing has two separate names, for no reason. That's the only thing in the world that has one thing is two different names. There's a millions of things, no. right? Three examples go. That's not fair. Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> but there is. Give me six and a half minutes, dumbass, and I could do it. We went to LA this weekend. We did. It was fun. It was really fun. We missed our first flight. Oh. God. It's actually Cam's fault. No, oh no, it's, it's not. actually Liv's fault. No, it's yeah, it's Liv's Liv. <laughs> Liv's day to day operations. No. no. It's Liv's <laughs> It's Liv's fault. It's Liv is responsible for us, right? Yeah. And we're we supposed to go meetings, uh, flights, Ubers, everything, because we have a lot and we need her. So it's the, she failed. It's the day of the flight. We booked these tickets months in advance. And normally every time we fly to LA out of Dallas, we go to DFW, which is a big airport. It's a fucking huge airport. It's too big. Every it's time stupid. we've flown to LA every time. The only time I've used the other airports when I'm going to bum hell, nowhere, middle of the town, tumbleweeds and scarecrows, Arkansas, to visit these two fools when their dog shit in my bed. That's the only time I've used that ratchet ass airport. I don't know what it's called, the Hillary Clinton Inn. What's it Lo called? Love Field. <laughs> and it's it? nice. What was the Cl Hillary Clinton one I went into? That's in Arkansas. Oh, same thing. That's in Arkansas. Same thing. Oh, yeah, no, that one's raggedy as hell. No, but... it was literally the size of this studio. Yeah. It was so You small. walk in there like, West is that way, east over there. Have a nice day. And it's like you know how like in normal airports is like coffee, like like Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. This one literally had this shit a woman. Is like Shirley's coffee. No, it wasn't even like that. It was like a woman with a like a pot in her hand, and she was like going oh around God. with free cups, like <laughs> family reunion coffee. It was like hotel breakfast coffee. Like she was crazy. Oh no. But so I was expecting every time. Why would you change it, right? Why would it not be at the same airport we always go to? So it's five in the morning. Very early. Cam's constipated. <laughs> I'm so constipated. My low. Oh my god. My stomach was like a brick. We I, we pay a hundred and thirty dollars for this goddamn Uber <laughs> to take us. Right. We have ample time. Go to the airport, and that's where stuff goes bad. So we get we get to the airport. Right. We pop out. Oh, thank you, sir. Have a good one. We go straight to printing our bag things. Bag things? The things that you, you put on your bag so they can go in the undercarriage. There we go. Speaking of undercarriage, mine smells like salmonella. <laughs> like, I don't... <laughs> oh, it could be. It very well could be. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Oh, my God. I'm editing this. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, so we get there, and we're scanning our passes. It's like... <laughs> And, okay, clearly the scanner's broken. Yeah, I was like, I, so I have go, the thing. I go, hey, excuse me, ma'am, can you help? She's like, scanning's right there. And, and. Okay, okay, we're not doing anything. P, pull up the email. What's the confirmation number? He pulls up the email. 
super early. We both got crust in our eyes still. Mm -hmm. We're looking through. He's just thumbing through trying to find this number. Out of the corner of my left eye, I literally see the words love field with an arrow and then LAX. And I went, oh my God. Oh my God, we're not gonna make it. And Peyton goes, what? <laughs> like you literally did that right there. I went, oh my God, you went, what? <laughs> and I was like, we're at the wrong airport. No, we're not. I was like, look at your email. Look at it, sure enough, we're in the wrong airport. So not only did $130 literally go down the damn drain, we have to call another Uber, leave the airport, 26 minutes back. The worst part is the, uh, the airport we're supposed to be at, extremely close to the apartment. We could have slept for a whole nother 30, 45 minutes. Oh my God. Oh my you God. You kind of probably squeezed this shit out. We, oh, 100, no. No. <laughs> you only, didn't do my trick. God was going to Plug and pull. Don't you try it. You did try it in there. Don't oh, lie. Oh my God. I needed help. He said it would work. That's no, you don't. Uh, uh, no, listen. Oh, no, yeah, right. no. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> no, listen, Liv. It's you're not going raw. You wrap you put like a little blanket of toilet paper on your on your and then you just What it wasn't someone else's. Oh, well, I didn't do it for him. Yeah, I it wouldn't have anybody else's. And it's not like I went full digit. He was saying to try to kind of you just grab the brim. Just like activate. Like go like this to your mouth, all right? You just, <laughs> oh no, you look like a fish that just got caught. That's what it's almost like. No. You hook, uh, and, hook and pull. So basically, we, we got have to go 26 minutes back to the other airport. We get there. There's this big ass line of traffic. We wait 15 minutes outside the airport, just waiting to get to the gate. We finally get in, and it was literally like home alone, like home alone. We, we got there sprinting. at 7:50. No, 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 6:50. .50. Our plane is leaving at 7:05. Yeah. The fact that they allowed us to check the bags in was a bold move, but I do appreciate it because yeah. we, we returned the favor and we've sprinted our ass to that gate. A lot of y'all saw us running through the airport. Y'all tagged people us. People tagged us. They said, not, when, uh, not Peyton and Cam running through the airport. Yeah, we saw And that. I was constipated. I was literally holding my gut like, <laughs> Peyton, wait. And Peyton was like, <laughs> just run it. Dude, it was bad. We get on the plane. Uh, the plane was like the size of like a charter bus. It was the smallest aircraft I've ever been on. Oh my god, it, it, was, it was so bad. And we play, paid for like upgraded seats because we're long and tall. And we'll talk about this more in the Patreon. We go into a full LA deep dive on Patreon talking about crazy stories that happened and like intricate, nasty details. Oh. Um, but yeah, we got upgraded and then we decided to move back to go to an exit row. Horrible decision. There was no cushion, no leg room, no recline. Yeah, it was leg room, but it was no recline. It was horrible. But we, I did get the vinegar, vinegar chips. I got a ginger ale with a wooden straw, and I literally had to mix it to get the bubbles out, like she said, for my gut. Oh, in LA, right? A lot of y'all saw on our Instagram, at PSH8, at Cam 22 you saw that we went to the Stream Music Awards, right? At, in LA. Fine. This, Fine. Is, this is a long story of how we got there, why we were there. It's all in the Patreon. All on Patreon. But I want to say this, and for all you that you know want to use clips of the podcast, you can clip this. We hung out with AMP and RDC. Now listen to me. My loyalty lies with RDC World. I was there for all the beef. I saw it. AMP deserves to give RDC World their subs. I was there in person, those dinners that they were talking about, when they pressed everybody at the Streamy Awards. Me and Cam were right there. And I will say this firsthand. I have no skin in the damn game, but I love Mark, and I love Leland, and I love Ben, and Av, and Dylan, and Dez, and everybody. Hippie. And Ippy and John. And John. <laughs> There's so many people already see. I will say this. Kai Sinat, scared. Duke Dennis, scared. Agent, love you, scared. All of you, we're scared. Chris, I love you too. Y'all are scared. And AMP does stand for Avoid Mark Phillips. They were ducking them the whole time when we were in LA. Now, do it that what you will. You can send that to whoever you want. You can post it on your damn TikToks. I just want to say my loyalty lies with RDC World and AMP. Pay them their damn subs. Or these two six seveners were joining RDC whenever they come press y'all in Atlanta. How about that? I think that's how we'll cap off our LA. On guard! <laughs> No help. They're like, oh, we actually. They're like, oh, but I don't give a damn. And I'm not gonna lie, Ray is a traitor. He he wants to come to RDC World. We talked about it. Ooh. Ray's a cool kid. Love Ray. Love Love Ray. Ray. Great kid. But, God did. <laughs> I have this question, right? And I saw it on the aircraft, right? When we were flying, <laughs> when we were in the airplane, first of all, I thought we were going down on the airplane. Oh my on God. the way back, oh my God. the kid in front of us threw up. 
It was a violent vomit too. It was so quiet. <laughs> it came so asshole. loud. I could not. I could not hold it back. It was like. <sighs> it was like a deep one belched. You could hear the liquid dripping, and I was just like. I was like, oh my god. The kid was, oh, oh, my god. My god. I said, oh, oh my god. And then I had to just duck my face and, and flee the scene for like five minutes. But we were in the aircraft, right? Mm -hmm. And there's clouds outside. There was. A lot of clouds. And I was wondering, right? We were taller than them, too. We were higher than them. Correct. Peyton 110, Cam mm. 1. Cam 1 million 14,770. You're so arrogant. Oh, okay. And wrong. 110. Listen, so I have a question about clowns, right? And I talk about clowns a lot. And I feel like a lot of people don't know about clowns. I feel like there's a, you know how you get ringing in your ear? Mm -hmm. I just had a ringing in my throat. Like it was like a squeak toy, a, uh, um, a squeak toy. Oh, like you were like uh, from like Toy Story. Yeah, when his buzzard went missing. Uh you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, his buzzer. So you, you know what I'm saying? I have a question. Clouds move, right? Correct. They're not stationary. Correct. How far do they move? Like, are, right now, right? Ooh. If we look outside, are we looking at damn New Zealand clouds? Are those our friends from the land down under? And can you send a message in a cloud? <laughs> like, that's sick. Are you under, like, oh, listen. Oh you know God. what I mean? You know how you can hire an airplane to make clouds that say messages for you? Yeah. Imagine. I they we pushed that shit oh all the way. God, we can say hi to Andy. Wait, what if? But what if? Oh my God! In Australia. Oh Australia. my God, though. Oh my God. Do they? Oh, oh, I don't like say this. It, say it. Say if, it. Say if, it. If clouds are moving, right, and the world is moving, that means only one of two things. We're still. They're either going backwards, <laughs> or they're not moving at all. Really, think about it. No. No. Just look. You look, thought look. you had it. Just look. Look. Pick away. Pick which way you want left. the cloud to move. Left. Yeah. Okay. The cloud's moving like this. Right. Left. If the world is rotating in this direction, we're all never, moving. It's never leaving. So it's right with us. It's them. right with us. That's our friend. And if it's moving the other way, yeah. it's going opposite. You think birds can feel that? Bird, oh, dude. Birds know some shit we don't. Straight up. Bird, <laughs> They're not I real. Mean, bird, I'm the conspiracy episode. <laughs> You don't think birds are real? No, they're definitely robots. Back in 2020, I said on the podcast, when stuff was locked down, I ain't seen a no single birds. damn bird. Them that, that, was that's charging. A, that is a damning point, though. It, it's like a Tesla. In, in COVID, <laughs> they just they grab them. They're like, to pop that off, plug the USB in. They're like, yeah, this will be ready. They can charge to 80%. Like, there's a long range. Back during 2020, yeah. back during it. Uh, <laughs> back during the dawn. <laughs> we, I don't. I don't know if it's just we weren't outside or what, but I really don't remember seeing a lot of birds either. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Yeah. I looked for them too. Okay. I would go chirpy George. chirp. You chirpity chirp. Chirpy chirp. So you were outside when the zombie apocalypse was taking place going chirpity chirp. Yeah. Trying to find you a bird. The You Should Know Podcast. You Should Know Podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Cam, we've been running around. Life has been so busy. You know, your mental health, you can put in the back seat. Mm. I think it's very important that we do the right things and talk to a licensed therapist. Yes, very smart. That's where BetterHelp gets involved. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's 100% online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Cam, I know I deal with this, but at night, do your thoughts ever just start going whenever you're oh, in bed? Oh, it's like your brain just can't shut off. It turns out one great way to make those thoughts go away is to talk through them. Mm. Therapy gives you a place to do that so you can stop spiraling and find some mental and emotional peace. I think we all need that. Cam, we know people really close to us that has used BetterHelp and it's really helped them out. They felt like it was really tailored to their needs. Then after they started using BetterHelp, they felt their mental clarity just get so much better. Their confidence was up and they liked how accessible it was. Mm -hmm. Yes. And with BetterHelp, the fact that it is 100% online, if you're ever going about your day and you, you feel one of those moments or one of those feelings coming up, you can go online, reach out to your therapist. Guys, get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash YSK today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash YSK. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. A Listen. Companion. One thing about you that I don't like, I don't like a lot of things about you, but I've learned something about you from traveling with you so much. 
I got constipated once. Give me a break. <laughs> and you took Pepto on top of it. You're a dirty, that was dumb, st- stupid idiot. I literally have lead in my stomach. <laughs> um, so bad. And can't was starting to drink coffee. Listen, this is what I was going to say, right? I don't like Cam. I don't like traveling with you. I don't like living with you. I don't like being around you. Jesus. Because you're so overly neat, like to the point where it's disgusting. Okay, I want you to come again and think if what you're... I said nothing. (laughs) I want you to say that again and think if that's a complaint or a compliment. Complaint. Because it's annoying. I'm overly neat. It's annoying and it takes time away from fun. So you... It takes time away. Yes. Are We're not you the- referencing me unpacking my suitcase and putting up everything accordingly? Yes, and, and not even that. You put, you put shit in drawers. That's what they're there for. Hey, I didn't know you were a cadet. I, <laughs> like, Sergeant Cam. Aye, aye. All right, sorry, scumbag. I didn't know you were Oscar the Grouch. I, I don't know- like living out of a suitcase. I didn't know we are in the bunker on the poop deck. I took my clothes out, put them in drawers, folded everything accordingly, kept it... Not color coded. How do you do your undies? How do you do your draws? Double fold. And, and no, you fucking roll them. No, no it's a double fold. I don't care. It's Ro- so rolling's stupid. A, rolling's a rookie move. Double mood. Rick- <laughs> rolling is a rookie move. Double fold it, and then it's a uh, waistband, waistband, so, so it never leans one way. You're so stupid. Socks, curl them. You're so stupid. How am I stupid? Because it's so. You're this. St- I'm what? Nothing. My my room, even in my apartment, is so much nicer than yours whenever I do take care of it. Which is when? <laughs> Once in a blue, when pigs fly, when hell freezes over, is when your apartment is going to be cleaner than ours. My, but my apartment is homey and it's, it's peaceful. What is peaceful about... There's nothing, there's no peace, there's no sanctuary in your apartment. There is nothing peaceful of your apartment. There's crumbs everywhere. There's old opened ketchup packets. There's nothing, there's no sanctuary in your apartment. And you, oh my God, we were eating and you're just sitting there ripping ass. Like that's disgusting. And the whole thing is so small, the ass air travels quite easy. Don't be mad at me because you're constipated. Don't get... There's nothing peaceful or uh, there's nothing, there's nothing holy of your apartment. So whenever you walk in my apartment, you're like, this is homie. Whenever I walk in your apartment, I think I'm in a, a, in, a in the salami section. I think, I, I think someone just ordered like, a, 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 I'm in a bistro or something. It smells like meat. There's always people talking because you always leave your damn TV on. I walk into a, in the middle of a conversation in a, in a, in a deli. That's what I think when I walk into yours. Then I look down, I see a rug that looks like it's been on fire. I see a rug that's on fire. Four trash cans for a single man. And then I turn the corner, it's Crumb Haven. It's literally a safe place for crumbs to hang out okay. and speak to each other. You haven't accomplished much in your life, but every time I'm around you, it looks like somebody, I'm around somebody who went through basic training. Like, like you can say, like you're SEAL Team 6. Like you live like you're about to get a call anytime to go to take down a world leader like relax dog enjoy life cam irons his bed sheets being i do not iron my bed sheets i used the steamer once and it was because i saw a trend i did it one time it's way too much work being clean being dirty which is better i'm not dirty being clean being dirty i'm not which is i'm not no i'm not i'm not dirty i'm just convenient Convenient. I'm not gonna. I could make a second meal with how much crumbs i have it's that it looks like you walk in you take your shoes off and you go and you literally throw them on the ground. You take the other shoe and you go. <laughs> like that's how you live. This this is paid walking into his apartment. <laughs> that's the crumbs. <laughs> And this is him, this is him to get up and go take a shit and then leave the door open to where you smell it. This is him. Watch the crumb action. <laughs> you don't don't get- you <laughs> ever slander my cleanliness. This is Cam as soon as he wakes up. <laughs> I, I, I jump out of the bed and do 20 push-ups immediately. 
Oh, you're a freak loser. There's never time. Oh, I'm too hot now. <laughs> Holy shit, that was funny. Oh, oh that was so funny. Yo, hey, how does super glue get out of the tube? Honestly. Something's not right. <laughs> That's a good ass question. That's a you know what question. A good question? Le well, okay. <laughs> no, uh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. An intoxicated question. Yeah. Uh, no. No, it's very tr Yes. I, I mean, think about it. Somebody has to explain that to us. There might be adhesive on the inside, right? No. Because when it melts. Are you talking about hot glue? Oh, when it melts. <laughs> No, what did you no, keep like like gorilla glue, trip? like gorilla glue. Like I got that gorilla grip. Well, just <laughs> okay, keep that. No. Okay. You sick bastard. <laughs> they're gonna make a compilation of how many times I go. Can I keep? That? Oh yeah, no, they're gonna no. There's gonna there's, there's gonna be. Shout out to that theories. girl on TikTok that makes all the compilations. She's sick. There's gonna be something that is dope. There's gonna be some theories about you. That I got a good For sure. Got, oh no, that you got it all. <laughs> that you you're him. I am. Oh, you're you're him. But you're oh. soon to be him. <laughs> you know what pisses me off more than more than glue? Hmm. I got something that really pisses me off. People with weird ass email addresses in 2023. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, my dad, I don't email my dad, because that's my dad, right? I don't email him. I'm not ready for what you're about to say. I don't know. Oh but I had God, to send to him something. For, at first, for, I don't know. I, I had to email him, so he said, email it to me. I was like, fuck, where, text me. He was email it to me, big dog. And I was like, put your arms like this and see if you can do it. <laughs> He's like, <"Yes." laughs> So I emailed him, and I, I was like, what's your email? <laughs> I won't say his full email address because I don't want to dox him. But his at, you know, like normal, it's like at Gmail, at, Gmail. at your company name, at Dude, something. honestly, if it's not your work or Gmail, what are you doing? Yeah, it's He's like. using Yahoo They got still. a Blackberry with the thumb yeah. side scroll on that thing. <laughs> um. His his email address is at spcglobal.net. What the hell is spcglobal.net? SBC Global. What is SBC Global? I didn't even find that. <laughs> what like web cult. browser is that? That sounds like a cult. Like he he checks his email browser in the dark web. <laughs> like that SBC Global? What is that? Uh, like God's honest truth, what is that? I don't know. I would have rather him said like at AOL at this point, like dial up. At so. What the hell is SBC Global? And I'm not gonna lie, I be re whenever y'all order merch. I'm oh not no, yeah, y'all are. I be sick. reading some of y'all's emails, and it's like, it's like Lexi Z1 X3 4 5 6 7 cool style bender at gmail.com. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. relax. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon Fruit Wrap at at 66 hotmail.com. Like, what are you doing? Who am I oh. sending this to? No, yeah, no, 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 yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> the You Should Know Podcast. Cam, the NFL is back. It's been so long since we've been able to watch the good old Dallas Cowboys and whoever else the loser teams watch. But thank God the wait is over and the NFL is here. And DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving you a can't-miss offer for week one. This week, new customers can get $200 in bonus Ooh. bets instantly when you bet just 5 bucks on any NFL game. DraftKings is hooking everyone up with game day greatness. All customers can take advantage of two new offers every single day. Game day this September. That's amazing. Every single game day this September. Download now and use code YSK to sign up. New customers can take home $200 in bonus bets instantly just for betting five bucks. That's code YSK only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort. 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. CCDKNG. Dot co slash football for eligibility terms and responsibilities gaming resources bonus bets expire seven days after issuance eligibility and deposit restrictions apply now on to the rest of the episode the you should know podcast hey i found out something about myself 
If I oh, I found out a lot. If I go like this too hard, I f don't do that. My I don't nose like will that. run. I don't. What? If you would have started bleeding right there, if you would have touched that right. in blood, real or fake, it would have came out of your nose. That would have been the funniest moment I've ever experienced in my entire life. No, I've never got a nosebleed. I feel like that's well, shit. Dude, I had them all the time. Exactly. Peyton, I had them all the time. That's exactly what I said. Like chronic. That's what I said. It's, you know, like in the middle of the night, I'd be unconscious. I'd wake up like I just got robbed by like Chuck Liddell. Can you die like that? Oh, I hope not. Nose bleeding in your night? Like, like throwing up in your sleep? Dog, I bled in the school lunch line. <laughs> I How swear to God. Weirdo? How would happen? I literally would just stand there. I just, it, blood starts dripping from my nose. And the girl behind me, because I'm kind of rattled. Wait, wait. I'm literally standing there. Blood started dripping out of my nostrils. No initiative. No one touched me. No one thought of me. No one asked me you a didn't, question. You didn't get a headache. I didn't move. You didn't, didn't get a headache. I'm standing, waiting to get a cheeseburger, and I start bleeding from my nose. You don't deserve peace. And like, the that's girl, yeah. you're a loser. And the girl behind me, she turns around, and she didn't believe me because I covered my hand up. She's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "My nose is bleeding." She's like, "No, it's not." And I lit intentionally because I was an ass. I go, <laughs> "Okay," and it went, in like two drops. She's oh, like, you were squirting. Oh God, no, like. Violent, like it was bad. Bro. You're a loser. No, yeah, I was. It was bad. You're a loser. But I, it's either that. It's either that's the worst thing, or when I had staph infection. <laughs> what? What is a staph infection? Oh, you told me in the locker. I had staph infection. Well, not our locker, but the football locker. locker. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You said it was that. My entire arm is yeah, destroyed. You gross. I was a zombie. Were you one of those kids? Let me not make fun of people. Were you one of those kids that go through the hallway like this? Oh no, that's yeah, the worst. That's see, now that's a rookie mistake. Whatever. Everyone knows if you have a nosebleed, you don't look up. Because all it does is keep the blood going back down to your stomach. You get super nauseous. Oh. You're supposed to just stand like the slightest of tilt just to where it's not rolling down like that. And then you can either pinch or just gauze. Pinch, poke, people owe me a coke. Like, people that go like this, though, it's literally going straight uh -huh. to your stomach. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Nazar. Whenever I, my stitches popped in my throat, it was kind of like a revolving circle of death. I didn't mean to bring up your PTSD. And I got to go soon. Dude, I'm getting that, my that wisdom teeth out soon. If I don't cancel. Round of applause. Wisdom teeth are finally getting removed from that guy's skull. September 11th. Been telling... What are you doing? It's a fact. Here Basically, okay. So speaking of like stuff that I don't like, like the yeah. email address stuff, like grow up. Like that's... An, or yeah, or like update your phone. Like you still have something. a 5C. <laughs> no, it's not even a 5C. Oh, yeah, it's like a Blackberry. A, a yeah. yeah. Like, like a, a side razor. scroll. Yeah. yeah. Um, but... I don't like weird dates. I finally got back into the dating pool. It's been a long time. I'm lonely. Yo. I'm sad. But I'm back out. I'm done. I'm not going back into the dating pool after this date. This girl, I let her plan the date. Normally, I'm like, this is what we're going to do. Let's take this date. Let's take this date. I like, I like that, though. Exactly. Like that. But you know what? I was like, it's been a while. I'm a little rusty. And so I was making it real sweet. Like, I want to do what you want to do. You plan the date. She was like, oh, my God, that's so sweet. Let's do it. I've never been more proud of you. Worst decision I've ever made. <laughs> what? <laughs> this girl, I swear to God, Cam, she goes, Let's go to the movies. And I was like, that's a kind of I bad mean, that already sucks, but it's not terrible. She said, let's go at 9 a.m. I swear to God, this girl wants to go to a morning movie. Never once have I known anybody to go to a morning movie. She did not say 9 a.m. What are we supposed to do at a morning movie? Like, are they going to serve us eggs Benedict while we're watching Oppenheimer? <laughs> like, what? Who? What are we supposed to do? Excuse me, sir. No, no, not the Coca-Cola. Can I have a cold brew? A nitro dark, a roast cold brew. Hey, can I have strawberries? Like, what, what am I supposed to Like, strawberries on my- Oh, no, no, no. I didn't say kettle corn. I said crepes. Crepes and Nutella. 9 a.m.? What are you bringing? Blankets and pajamas yeah. and shit? It's like, hey, can you bring me the morning paper while I'm here? Like, it was the worst ever. We went. Oh, no, you didn't. I, I no. had to. Oh, I had no, to. You did not. No, you didn't. I liked her. How many people were in this theater? Us too. Makes sense. And I'm not gonna lie, even the people that work there were like, "Yeah, they, it's probably like a, a like a known rule that like no one shows up till 11 or she, something." She was like, "The tickets are cheaper." I was like, "I won't have fun." <laughs> yeah. Like I don't want to oh walk. Oh walking God. out of that theater, we opened the door and I was like. Oh, how bright it was. It's your ears aren't even ready. An Oppenheimer, a damn bomb gets dropped. Just like, boom. I don't, and it makes it even worse. Since we had the rest yeah, of what our. Did, what did y'all watch? That's Oppenheimer. No. We watched a bomb drop at 930 over Eggs Benedict. Like, what's happening? Like, that is horrid. I can just picture it. She is so happy. You are so miserable. I was so tired. Oh, but okay. But here's the real question. What? Were you at least playing the game? 
Were, were you at least making her think you were enjoying your time? No, I couldn't. I, I was like, I was half sweet, bro. I, I couldn't tell if this was the good guy. I couldn't even tell if this was the movie or my dream that was happening. I was like, <gasps> you're oh. literally just like this. <laughs> She's and like, oh, oh, you're like, uh -huh. the worst part, she got a large popcorn with a slushie at 930. It, I was like, I was going to say a joke that would be not good to say. No, don't say But it. just know that. Just know. And the worst part is, since we had the rest of our day left, oh, yeah. it was a 24-hour long date. It was an all-day day, and she was like, let's go back home. Let me freshen up, and we can like chill and figure out the rest of the day. And I was like, okay, I swear to God, can we go to this woman's apartment? And she has a sugar glider as a pet. <laughs> That's not legal. What is that, feline? She has a sugar glider? That that apartment smelled like Steve Irwin Zoo. I swear, I was like, I was like, how does this if happen? If I walk in to, if I wasn't with my beautiful wife, Olivia, and I walked in to a woman's apartment and it smelled like an alpaca, and then I turn the corner and I see a small mammal with wings, I'm, I don't know if I would be like hysterically laughing or I'd be so impressed because that's contraband. That's that's not a pet. That's contraband. You, that's you the can't first get thing. those things at Petco. She bought that with Bitcoin. There's no way there's no way American dollars were used for that purchase. She bought that with <laughs> cryptocurrency. Second off, what the hell does a sugar glider eat? Does she just have like bamboo and sugar cane and like I don't know berries and <laughs> all I know dragon is, fruit in her freezer? All I know is I'm an accessory to a felony now. Oh yeah, no yeah. You, I didn't report that. You could go to prison. A sugar glider is in a cage. I, I don't know, but she had it like she she went to her. I was in the living room. She went to her room and she brought it out like this. It was holding her side like this, and she goes, "This is cane." And I said, "What cane? <laughs> what? Oh my God! What floor is she on?" The third? She's a sick mother. Oh my god. She doesn't she doesn't even care enough about that sugar glider. If that bastard watches and learns a couple extra months, learns how to click that lock, he's gone forever. Sugar glider, Dallas, Texas. Are you nuts? <gasps> uh, how big was it? No, it, it was, was holding their arm. They're small, baby. Right? It was like it was like this big. Oh it my god, big. I know it was adorable. Oh my god, it was a cute You thing. think I gave it the oh, time no, to look at it? As soon as, I, as soon as she walked in, I said, put that shit in the bathroom. Oh, you definitely treated it like it was a demon. Like it needed an exorcism. <laughs> that was not of God, that you, thing. You didn't even touch a chicken at my sister's house, and I think you're going to grab a sugar glider? <laughs> and I was like, first of all, I was like, ma'am, get an air freshener if you're going to keep that thing. Okay, I'm highly confused. If you've told me everything that you just did, and I had to guess this woman's age, I, have, I am all over the place. I have no clue. I have no clue. Was, 9 a.m. movie with Slushy is screaming as young as she possibly could be. Oh, no. No, that's what, <laughs> uh, not, not in that regards, but I'm saying for the spectrum, yeah. for your dating, like, yeah. she's as young as whatever. She's mentally young. Yes. Sugar glider and smelling like, uh, like a zoo, like a drive-thru zoo, <laughs> that's screaming like, Midlife crisis. I need to change some things up. Maybe dye half my head color. Like that's screaming old. She was twenty four. God, she's right. In, she's. Oh, that's. Pr I mean, it's your age. God. No, yeah. I, I was like, this is why I don't date. She doesn't have a middle name, does she? <laughs> what? She doesn't have a middle name. Does I don't she? know her that well. Mm, I bet she doesn't. I'm not gonna find out find either. It. Oh, smart man. So it's safe to say there's no date too. She had eyelashes on her car too. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> No, she, she had eyelashes didn't. on her car. Oh my god, I'm telling you. I was like, I respect creativity. Run at the eyelashes, but not the damn sugar glider. I saw the car first. Oh, that's. I would have ran at the 9 a.m. movie. How she was so pretty. Oh. Pretty. Never mind. That was rude. That's mean. Um, if you happen to watch what? Ah, uh, don't say her name. If you watch this, you. Um, I told her I was going to talk about it. Report yourself. I told her. I was report talk yourself for the sugar glider, and then. I want you to never go to a 9 a.m. movie ever again. I don't care what benefits it does. I don't care if the tickets are cheaper. I don't care anything. You about have it. to be on the doorsteps of heaven to be going to a 9:30 a.m. movie. Like, yeah, like it's like if you know you're gonna die at 12, you really want to see this film. <laughs> that's the only time you can do it because there's no. You have to be on a field trip or in a home. <laughs> field trips, bro. Buses don't run that early. Like, you're not gonna be at a. No one's at a movie theater at 9 a.m. That's bullshit, bro. I bet the employees. 
The employees were barely there. I swear to God, they, they were barely there. They were clocking in when she's walking in. Oh, let me get a large buttery popcorn and a sl- what the, flavor? The workers were drinking Starbucks. If you say, I'm going to ask one more question. What flavor slushy? If you say the flavor that I think in my head, it's going to piss me off. She did something that was sick. She, no, she, was, she, she was a mixer of all three, Coke, berry, and cherry. At 9.30 on buttery popcorn? She should have said, hey, let's continue this date and go to my dentist afterwards. That's what, that's what the, the next stop should have been. She's let's like, go to the dentist and let's go to Pets and More to get some more uh, wood chips for my and she sugar was, glider. She was like, help me with these emails to get imported animals from Uganda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how to get in the dark web? Bro, she, that is. She was a sweetheart, though. Shout out there. A sweet, diseased heart. <laughs> that's mean. I don't mean it, but damn, that's strange. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of dates, too. Like, I'm bad with dates. I always pick the wrong ones, obviously. I don't even know if you can follow up on that one. I don't do well in group settings. That's obvious. <laughs> if anybody knows you, they know that's a fact. That, that you could have just you could have been in a court of law, and that would have you wouldn't have purged yourself. <laughs> like that is that is the most factual thing I've heard from you in in so long. No, but the fact is, I'm about to expose myself of like weird things that I don't know if people notice about me when I'm group settings. But this is what I do. Like at the streaming awards this weekend, I'm, I'm so here. That, for it. This is where I learned like, oh, this might be obvious for other people. You know when you're all in a circle, like at a party, right? You're in a circle, people are drinking and talking. That's my most anxious moment because I don't know what to do with my body. You know what I mean? Like, I have a drink in my hand, right? I don't know the appropriate time to drink my drink. So so what I do is, it's not even like voluntary. I always mimic somebody's drink. Like, say me and you are talking, right? Me and you are talking. And we have a drink, right? And we're talking, you're talking, you're casually, you sip your drink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, if you, if I didn't know you and you ever made that piercing eye contact with me and then immediately mocked me. You no, know, it's because I don't want to be rude and like, my biggest fear is they're talking and it's almost my time to answer and, and I'm in the middle of a sip because I'll fucking choke. And they're like, they're like, what do you think, dog? You're like, <laughs> I can see. Oh, I, my eyes are closed. I'm sorry. I can see you. Do- <laughs> and now my shirt's stained. <laughs> and I'm wet and from the chin. Oh, my God. And if that actually would have happened, <laughs> immediately your internal body temperature is like 107. Immediately. Like, I'm, I could cook oh something in me. Oh, yeah. Ice could get, be thrown on you and immediately just drip down. <laughs> and it's not even just that. Holy shit, that's funny. It's not even just that. It's before I even get to the function. I Google the parking everywhere I go. What did you just say? I Google the parking everywhere I go. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. A lot of people do that. What does Google <laughs> the parking mean? Public parking is a deep fear for me. Because I don't know, is it a valet situation? Is it street parking? Is there a lot for me? Or am I going to be circling around and I'm going to have to make irregular turns in front of pedestrians? That is a terrible, p- terrifying fear of mine. You are so unconfident. So say we were going to like Chipotle, but it was a foreign Chipotle that I've never been to. I'll be like, fuck, okay. I know Chipotle. I know what I'm going to order. I practice my order six times in my head. And then I'm like, I got to find the parking situation. So I'll Google Chipotle at said location, Google Earth it, Street View. And then I'll go, okay, this is the entrance to it. This is the exit. I'll see if there's a man there. I'll see if there's a meter. I'll know exactly what meter I'm going to, what parking spot ideally, and then I'll have a second and third option. I have you pinned. That's why you're always like two minutes late. Yeah, because I have to Google and find out before I take off. I thought he was just sitting on his phone. This, I'm, well, he is on his phone, but he's who Google's part. Like that is the strangest shit I have. No, ever it's heard. it's appropriate. Drive to the place, <laughs> find space, turn the car off. No, because especially if you live in a city, bro, shit's hard. Like, I'm not even looking for the free parking. I don't care. I'll pay 600 bucks if it's, like, convenient. I'm just scared. Of what? Messing up. And I can't use the bathroom at, like, functions and parties. I can't do it. I will literally, like, I thought at the Streamy Awards that my penis was about to bleed. How bad I had to pee. Is that bad to say? No, it's just, it's it's visual. Like, I was, like, it felt like there was, like, two small men in my gut and going... It was so painful. Oh, we're no, we're polar opposites on like, that. I, and you know it. Like I, I dapped up Keith Lee and I almost pissed on his right leg. Like it was so bad. He's like, "What's up, man?" 
<laughs> Jay's like, what was that? He's, no, I'm, I am the opposite on that. I will audibly let you know I'm about to go shit in the public bathroom. I will be like, hey, excuse me, I gotta go poop. And I'll just leave. Bro, yeah, I don't... The bathroom, I can understand the bathroom. The drink shit, that is, I have, I am... Oh, I'm gonna call you out when you do it next time. I'll, I'll just go parse. Hell no, I won't do it. I can't get over that parking. You zoom in street view on Google Earth. Yes. Okay, has this ever, like, what if... It's updated. What if it's out of date? What if on the thing it shows parking spots that are open? You get there, they're took. Like you're setting yourself oh, I have, up I have for something more for that. angst. I have oh, you have that. a backup plan, of course. If you I creep. go there and the parking situation is not what I anticipated, I will drive a couple blocks away. I will find a vacant spot, and then I will call somebody that is already there, or I will literally walk. I'll be like, "Where'd y'all park? Can you send me like the location? Send me a picture." Remember, I always ask y'all to send me pictures no, of where you park. Always ask for. I thought that was so you can try to park right next to. Oh, I don't give a damn if not I'm close you're to you. Stranded. That is, that's st the only time I ever zoom in on maps is if I forgot the name of a place. Dude, that's, that's something you do that irks me. That's worse than my parking. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Cam, no, it's not. You know how, like, you want to see food near me, right? You want to find, like, food near you? You go to Google, like a normal human. You go food near me and be like, oh, there's a Jack in the Box, there's Chipotle, there's a Chili's, and you find it and it says how far and the address. Cam doesn't do that. No. He opens up Apple Maps. And he'll see, it shows where he's at, and he will literally zoom in like he's a geologist. Like he has a damn compass. And he will just go and be like, oh, that street is right there. You take a right right there. Oh, there's a jack in a box, right? Like, who are you? Digging for gold. I'm, f I'm finding the gym. <laughs> like, uh, I, what do you mean? Like, you're a scavenger. I have a unique sense of geolocation, and I can, <laughs> it, I, I want. If you were to say to me, hey, what was that place we went last Thursday? It was really cool. You know where we were at? And I forget the name. I'm going to pull up my maps, immediately go straight to where we were, zoom in until I find it. There's Cam, nothing that is, wrong with that. That's dumb. There's, how was that? If I, go, if I can't remember the name, if I don't know where anything is, I'm going to find it myself. I'm not going to rely on the internet. It's betrayed me too many times for me to not do that. How? In the middle of a route coming home, if you click the gas station button, I swear to God, I've clicked gas station. It goes Watch this. closest one seven miles away. Watch this. I look up. Watch this. It's right there. Use Waze. Waze sucks. Always. Oh, it sucks. is the number one navigational app. Waze sucks. You can tell your police. You can play fun games. You can use different voices. I had the Jonas Brothers navigating me not too long ago. This is not an ad, by the way. Waze sucks. You suck. What? At, why? If you and me were to go to the exact same location, you use Waze, I use Apple. I, beat I get you, that I beat you by no, three you minutes. Stupid bitch. I beat you by why? You better why? I beat you by three minutes. No, you don't. Waze, bro. It takes you alternative routes. That's why on road trips you suck. And on road trips, I'm always faster. Yeah, maybe five mile drives, you'll get there. Whatever. Road trips, go down I-35 in Waco. I'll get you. I'll get around that faster. I've no ways around that I-35 traffic that no one knows. Only the ways user knows. And you know how you can only know that it's all ways users is because there's a thing and a function. There's a ways user next to you. You know, and you can help people. There's debris. Gotcha. You Don't can, worry you about can do that. that on Apple. Not nah. because where they get that? Where they get that shit from? Ways, 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 ways. All you have. Ways, when you, I'm sending you an invoice. All, all you have when you go down I-35 is a constipated gut because you can't poop in in public bathrooms and you're screaming country music. That's all you have. I'm gonna need some whiskey glasses. Oh, you did the right if one. If I wanna make it through, if I'm a bathing, I'm gonna need another shot of that heartbreak, heartbreak proof. proof. Oh, uh. heartbreak proof. Yeah, I said like heart, eighty proof. Yeah, with I, vodka. Said, I said heartbreak juice. Is it juice? I think it's proof. Proof it's makes proof. a lot more sense. We're talking about alcohol, proof. not breakfast. You know what's a weird thing that I do when I, go, when I travel? I don't care where I'm going. I can go to goddamn CVS to get more constipation wipes. You don't I can poop, go yeah. anywhere. I can go be giving me some tampons. Have you ever tried a tampon? <coughs> Have you ever tried a tampon? Don't you ever say that again. Don't you ever ask me that again. I remember when I was 16 and I first got my car. I, what are you I about got to this say? weird, like, I had a girlfriend, right? All through, like, my teens. And I would buy her tampons. Because I'm a good guy, right? Or it's what you should do. It's not even makes you a good guy. It's what you should do. And I was like, I, my mom would teach me as a kid. She taught me, like, what tampons were, how they work. But I didn't really retain that knowledge. So I was like, if I'm buying this, if I'm spending my money on this, I want to know what I'm buying. So I bought myself a pack of tampons. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> That's very weird. It is a deceivingly, like, intricate piece of utility. Like, <laughs> instrument of. Yeah, it is like instrument of 
like medication. I was like, I was making my hand vagina, what? right? That's a piece of the body. We're adults here. What are we doing? And then I was like, does the plastic go in? And so I was like, damn, like, ow, we. And then I was like, this is a small piece of cotton, but then it explodes. Boy, it's like a flower. It blooms. Yeah. And then I was, and then, and then I, I found my first one, right? I found my first box of tampons. And I was like, it was like the regular, regular ones. And then I was like, there's different ones. And I wanted to know the density volumes of them. So I bought, I ended up buying four packs. It was not all together, but it Bro, was like, you're, buying, like you're saying this like they were trading cards. <laughs> I ended up buying four booster boxes. But now I'm very knowledgeable about women's menstruation. Pads, all that. Oh, that, that. Just pads. One Takes time you from, I, from rookie to expert. <laughs> One pads. time I used a pad to scrape when I used a knee scrape. Because I would have pads and tampons. At my, when I was living my bachelor life, I'd have pads, tampons, and heating pads. So anytime a girl came over and she was having her menstruation, she would have everything she needs. I'm him. And the one time I scraped my knee and I, had, I used it. What? No, oh, I don't. It's all right. When I, when I scraped my knee, I used toilet paper and scotch tape. <laughs> and it was the worst decision See, ever. See, I think you wanted to be in SEAL Team 6. I might like have been. You like, wanted I, I wanted to be MacGyver. Like, we yeah. definitely had Band-Aids in the house, but I wanted to Band wrap my leg. <laughs> Band-Aids. Um, yeah. Um, you're a... You know what I also I don't like? You're a case. I'm a case. An open case. Speaking of cases, right? Do you remember, right? Back in middle school, right? That right? Was, wrong? <laughs> left? Say right one more time. Right. Do something about it. Touche. <laughs> Do you think we could kiss in public? No. I don't think I ever would. Don't want to. Never would. Next. I didn't really want the answer to that. I don't know why I asked. <laughs> but do you... Okay, speaking of phone cases, do you remember back in middle school... Now, I've, I feel like a lot of judgment's about to happen. Probably. <laughs> you, mm. <laughs> that was my weird, like, emo, you're yeah. a jerk era. <laughs> I would say, I, I, I forced my mom to take me to Spencer's because that's where they had suspenders and studded belts. Glasses, and studded the glasses. Belts. Yeah. Oh, no, I just got my glasses from the movie theater, popped them out, and put the tape in the smart middle. Man. But I remember I was super into, like, I'm so nervous. Rockstar life, dude. And these girls, right? <laughs> that were like, actually lived that lifestyle. They had these phone cases that were like bears and they had the ears on them. Oh my God. It was so inconvenient for denim. <laughs> oh my God. I had, I had one of those. I had a, um, what's the dude's name from Monsters Inc? The green guy, Mike Wazowski, Mike Wazowski. and it, the eyes popped up more. It was so sick. And then I remember the girls also made duct tape wallets. Oh, oh, I had a duct tape wallet. Oh, my God. I, I bought one. I bought a duct tape wallet. A Capri Sun purse. A what? A Capri, a Capri Sun, Sun purse? purse? No, I can't say I've even heard of that piece of equipment. I've never heard of that either. But, uh, no, it was honestly, it was a rough era. I had the bare phone case. I oh, my God. You, I think the only thing that kept you out of an infirmary... <laughs> from just getting bullied. Granted, that was that was heat back then. That was hot. I can make it worse. No way. I wore a colored blazer to school one time. You wore a colored blazer. How old are we talking? Because now middle school, I don't know. Dude, I, <laughs> and and it, and I wore a tie, but I remember I was watching like a rock star music video, like you know, like like punk music videos. Oh, you were lose? And they before were, lose. It was, it was before that. It was like the real punk stuff. And you, I, instead of like tying the tie like a normal tie, you would just take it like like two loose, seconds, and then you'd go like that. And so just the big fold was going. I, and I flat ironed my hair when I had long hair. I was like this. My dog, hair, you my were, hair smelled like toast. Dog. You like literally were like Hollywood undead. Like you were a. <laughs> Words I can't like I, my brain can't even in, make words right now. I swear to God, I cannot imagine. Imagine you with all of this on a first day of school at a new place. What would they say to you? But I also I would fight though. Like kids tried to bully me, but I'd fight. That's good. Yeah, at least you did that. But skinny jeans, probably Vans, a tail hanging out, flat ironed hair, a tie around your neck with a blazer that's colored, <laughs> Mike Wazowski phone case. Walking around like that and intentionally like, like looking down but then looking up. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's making me want to vomit. Yeah. Um, let's get Mama Live on the podcast. Let's do it. The you should know podcast. Our next partner is AG1, the daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. I drink it literally every day. Every day? I gave AG1 a try because you know me. You've seen my little pill holder. You're like an 80 year old. It's, it's, it's Nazar. It's like I'm geriatric, and yeah, I'm absolutely. You're not. not. I was tired of that, so I said, you know what? I want it all to be one stop shop. That's exactly what AG1 and is. And it's aesthetically pleasing. Like the packaging is, is so nice. So you the can just fit in your kitchen and it's so beautiful. It's so heavy. It's a great, it's, they spent a lot of time on making sure this is a great thing to have. Oh, it's fantastic. Cam, I agree with you because I drink AG1 every morning. Why do you think I'm glowing and feeling good now? Oh. I got all the energy for the pod. You can drink it before working out, before starting your day, before drinking coffee, and it makes you feel unstoppable it's hard for me to keep up with a supplement routine that comes with a bunch of different products That's fair since i've been drinking ag1 i've noticed an overall feeling of health why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder in water once a day so simple. answer me that ag1 was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to complicate your routine ag1 is so simple because it's delivered to you every single month if you want to take ownership of your health try ag1 and get a free one year supply of vitamin Ooh. d and five free ag1 travel packs with your first purchase go to drink ag1 dot com slash psh that's drink ag1.com slash psh check it out the you should know podcast oh we got mama live back on the podcast mama live. hey whose hat is that okay isn't it crazy that me and Liv have worn that hat before Thank you, you have? Yeah. Thank I you, Thank you. I've worn I this one and, and the tan one, and Cameron's not even worn them once because they can't fit his. What'd you do to? <laughs> <laughs> they can fit my skull. Then why you I, wear That's em? why I bought them. I'm not a hat guy. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. But you and and hat connoisseur <laughs> over here just strip me of all my. I have to wear a hat because you see oh. me. It looks like. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking mine off. Y'all see all the baby hairs. Wait, just do it. This. Do it. So we're no, gonna look like a little helmet. Oh, it's not no, bad. No, it's not, oh, bad. It's not even pick up on camera. But, uh, Kim, this is a packed episode. We got... <coughs> My lips are so chapped. <coughs> they are so damn chapped. It, 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 almost, it almost feels like it's starting to mess with my breath. I know it's not. <laughs> But I'm starting to think that my breath is getting soiled due to how dry my damn I don't lips think are. That, course, I huh? think that I could literally go two weeks without brushing my teeth. Like, since you said Same. that. Same. What? No, no way. Yeah, for sure. What the hell did I just? What, like what it's honestly, I, it's honestly not that bad. Like when I'm sick or if I'm like in like the not the mood, or I don't feel like getting out of bed for the day or just in the house. Who the hell I gotta brush my teeth for? Exactly. And okay. if, if I go a little bit without brushing my teeth, and I'm like, oh, it's probably unsanitary at this point, and I need to brush my teeth, I'll give myself a quick swish. Yes, okay, like I'm the sitting, mouthwash. I'm sitting between mucus and bacteria here, and. <laughs> How was, was what that? do you mean you could go two? I my mouth would be decaying. No, if I went, no, if I went two just, days, I don't, let alone two weeks without brushing my teeth. I think I that's like that's like colonial shit. That's no. like George Washington. I don't think like, like the smell would like that wouldn't bother me. It'd be like Olivia. the texture. So I would just go grab like some mouthwash, like Peyton said, oh. push it around. Oh no, not mouthwash, just warm water. Okay, yeah, no. You get warm water, you switch it, and you, you what are you a pot? <laughs> Warm <laughs> water. No, you don't clean even, your mouth. You don't even need. You don't even need to brush your teeth that often. I feel like it's propaganda to sell toothbrushes. But I feel like if you do feel like you haven't brushed your teeth in a while, you got you got some barbecue and and, and a canine. You know what I mean? Or so, just grab like a floss pick. You'll be straight. Or gum. Olivia, gum. Just chew gum. It'll pick it out. I agree with you. I agree with you on that. Like, like when, you're little, it, it, when you're chewing it, when you're chewing it, it, it's feels just, like, like, comes out. And then you, I got teriyaki chicken with yep. the gum too. Oh yeah, that shit is fire. You just said chewing gum, it'll pick the debris out, like the little sticky shit using a car. Yes. When you put it in the air vents. Yes. Y'all but just are, think of it as your mouth. Y'all are ranking raunchy individuals. But, no. but you do get a little pleasure. It's kind of like when you're sick and you got sick teeth, but if you have no brush teeth, you go like that right there, and then you got or that white go, stuff or on just it. Go like this. Oh, yeah, and you straight. can feel it. feels like wood, right? Your teeth feel like wood. Yeah. yeah. Okay, two things. One. You, talking about two weeks, literally when you try to tell me you love me and talk to me and whisper sweet nothings in the morning, your breath is already horrible. It is, it and is I a, do not it give a, a shit. It is a toxic, <laughs> it is nuclear when you speak to me in the morning. That's first. Second off, Whatever. the only thing I do when I'm sick that gives me weird pleasure is if I have a sore throat, I intentionally eat honey bunches of oats. 
Because it so strange. It scratches my throat and, it, and takes. The yeah, stuff I gotta with feel it. you. But what? sometimes I br- I, I don't sit there and. When I went a long time without brushing my teeth, my okay. gums bled a lot. Like yeah. you, I would push on them and they would be like. At one, blood at one point in time, and this just maybe? tells you, I had fifteen Disease? cavities at one point. You had how many? Fifteen. Yeah, I think I was pretty close. I, I had like fifteen. I had 11. fifteen cavities at once, yeah. and they were like, "What the hell do you eat?" But I don't even feel them at that point. Like honestly, no. I probably have six. I right probably now. have some right now too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whenever I went to get my y'all are grown ups with cavities. <laughs> you're grown adults. <laughs> okay, so you're telling you me you pay rent and you have cavities. Oh my god. Oh my god. My mom has cap. Like grown adults have cavities. Have cavities. We don't get silver caps, dumbass. That's how what cavities are. Oh my god. Camera, what's no, the last time saying, you've gone to the I'm dentist? Saying, I'm saying I, exactly. Oh, what if years. I had to? I'm, I'm just saying, like, well, I don't like, give a yeah, shit. I'm saying, you're dentist. sitting here talking about your teeth. I love going to the dentist. Okay, yeah, I don't. See, that's your I hate the smell thing, of the dentist. You feel like you're better than thou because, you know, you pay for your <laughs> teeth, you got LASIK-ass <laughs> surgery, don't and your LASIK. hip doesn't work, don't so you overcompensate LASIK. with your tooth health. Get my, a job. My hip, This is it. <laughs> my hips do hurt. I don't think I'm better than thou, King James. <laughs> Relax with that. You're the, we're not in the 1700s. <laughs> and I like my teeth. I'm saying, if you're an adult and you cannot brush your damn teeth. I can here, think about this. Think Why about do you have six cavities? Think because about- I'm prone. Uh, Cavity prone? Yes, you have weak enamel, dumbass. What are you eating? Beef. Do you floss? Oh, hell no. That's a that's why that's you have a Every time I go to the dentist, they're like, you need to floss more. I'm like, that's why I don't got cavities. time for that shit. No, if my cavity was in between the teeth, yeah, my cavities are on top. That's think about this, we, Peyton. Oh, my God. That's about not, about not brushing your teeth for two weeks. Yeah. Kids, they don't brush their teeth. They don't give a shit. They just wake up and go to school. I brush my teeth more exactly as a kid. That's exactly is why. I, I didn't. That's exactly why three out of your five friends, when you're at that age, all have silver teeth. I had silver exactly teeth. They don't do this over teeth anymore. Wall. They all look like Jaws at a 007. Just sit, <laughs> sitting there just silver. No. Floss your teeth. And I don't like using, because I use uh, the manual brushes, right? I don't use the electronic See, ones. I have the electronic one now, because Cameron bought it for me. I would have never bought that shit I literally got it for him. As a Christmas gift. I don't like my mouth vibrating. Uh, it makes your gums tingle. I don't like that. Do y'all brush your gums? What? No. I brush my gums. I didn't know that was brush my teeth. I do brush my tongue. I don't brush my tongue. When I do brush God, my teeth. your mouth. I have so much real estate on my tongue. <laughs> you it's do. Too, too much. You have a thick ass tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you like Okay, it. what type you of toothpaste, though? Huh? Do you like th- like the minty kind or do you like like a bubble gum flavor? Like what kind of toothpaste? Oh, oh, bubble gum. Oh my god, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Ever. Yes. Oh my god. Like if bubble you, gum if you brush your or teeth like a vanilla. Anything that is not mint. Yeah, that's weird. Or you go, go to the hell. dentist and they ask what flavor do you want? I don't want? go to the dentist. I haven't been in six years. That's so bad. Okay, yeah, you you got me on that. But I so, went I went oh, to. Oh, does he two weeth? Two weeth? Sound like me. Two weeth? Does he two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah, but what's... Oh, I remember when I got off the bad. plane, how bad my breath smelled. No, his breath smelled like literal wood. It smelled like cedar when we got off the plane. Because he did Cedar, <laughs> Peyton? Because we took like Ew. a two... We had like a, basically like a two-hour nap before we had to come back. Oh, we had yuck mouth. And, and I swear to God, I asked him. We were packing our bags. <laughs> and he packed his fully shut, uh, clipped the little things, and put his coat in. I said, I said, bro, why didn't you leave your toilet bag out? Like, you're going to have to brush your teeth in the morning. He said, oh, hell no, I'm not brushing my teeth. See, that I, I would have done why? the same it's damn too thing. Much time. It's two minutes. That's two minutes. Two minutes. Twice honestly, a day. honestly, I can do Cam, so much in two honestly, minutes. Honestly, Cam, the whole time you were in LA, I don't think I brushed my teeth. <laughs> oh my God, you're sick in me. Oh my God, she built like a, a like like a community. Who of was I trying to impress? It was just me and Ruby. She don't give a shit. Her and, breath stank. And, and Ruby's and my breath, breath smells like rank ass. <laughs> yeah, no. We had Ruby, matching steak breath. R- impress <laughs> yourself. Who? <laughs> I literally you was in my muumuu, my bonnet. That's no That's like my body odor. I can't even smell it anymore. It's just life, you know what I mean? Okay, I gotta have deodorant. I'm, I'm. That's where we draw the line. I can't find a good deodorant anymore. Dude, I try that natural shit, and I literally smell like a garden, like onions. You smell like your sister's backyard. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. It is. I can't. I don't know why. I want, I'm like, ooh, with no aluminum. This, whatever. Yeah. The other it's night he went glands. to bed very bad. If like I it was. Woo. Oh yeah. I tried to. I <laughs> threw, get this. I threw my arm up for my own comfort while yeah. we were watching Suits, <laughs> and she literally said, "Put that shit down." I was like, is it that bad? Like, and I she said, like, yeah. and he knew it. He didn't go put deodorant on. He didn't go and wash his body. And I was just like, Cameron, you're getting in the fiend bed with stinky <laughs> armpits. Wait, do y'all, okay, after you shower, do you deodorize? Yes. yes. Say. No, you don't. Peyton. I, I didn't think that was think, a thing. I'm not going to get on to you because I don't think it is. I don't, I don't think you should. Yeah, I don't think you should. I, you got to let your shit breathe, exactly. dog. So you're, my dad always dude. taught me, do not be the stinky kid in class. So I have put deodorant on and like anywhere like any time of the day, if I feel sticky or stinky, I'm like, yeah. In seventh grade, I used to have like a ritual for you. I swear to God, I'd go. 
Yeah, no, do you have OCD oh for sure? Because you have rituals for everything. He does. What does that mean? What I just said, English is I easy. I have rituals for everything. The way you pack. Okay. Yep. The way you brush that's your teeth. Im- that's important. Brushing your... Okay. That's the way you used to dress. That that was hot, though. I, I started a trend. Fuck, it was hot. Like, because Steph, like, even on his nightstand, like, nice. he has to have yeah. it in a specific spot. Like, I don't touch Cameron's side of the room. Everything has like, a place. Like, he has his side of the room, I have mine. Because if I go over there and, like, move something, he's You're like, why'd you touch out. my stuff? See, that's bullshit, because whenever you were messing with my, my pins over there, I'm the same way as you. Okay, my things all work, and they add value to my life. You have a damn spork and a, dr- a, a dried-out Sharpie in a pin holder that yeah. is doing nothing. You're not going to touch it ever again, you, but you want it because it's, it's you. It's and, mine. And you, for what? What are you gonna do with it? It doesn't matter. It's, it's fucking mine. It's I mine. Get, I get that. All I'm trying to do is help you be more cleanly. That's cleanly. not dirty. It's That's in a, a cup. Word? Cleanly. It's a spork serving zero. Per- You're never. You gonna never know it. when I'm gonna need it. You're never gonna eat it with it ever. How? Peyton, if you had a brand new spork and it dropped on the floor, you're never gonna use it. Wait, 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 wait. There's a spork just sitting years, on your desk, just for in my fun. in my it's pin two cup holder. Two years old. Okay. It's my favorite spork. What's its name? Jimmy. Next. That was too fast. I have. That was way too fast. <laughs> no, y'all are both dirty. Yeah. It's no. Fine. I don't no, give you a shit. Are. Mm. I'll be dirty. My parents are here, by the way. Hey, fam. Hey. Hi, parents. <laughs> They're so glad. Hey. Um, I don't know. I, honest to God, have no clue what made me think of this. You know the bushes right outside my house? My parents. Oh, yeah. I was like, house, we don't those got bushes. bushes. Yeah. Okay, so anytime I'd come back from playing outside with friends, and I was going to ask my mom... <laughs> I was so damn weird. <laughs> so damn weird. Anytime I was going to ask my mom to stay the night at a friend's house, I would pick I would pick one little leaf off the bush. And I swear to God, I would say, I, uh, what did I do? I would say, I would hold it in my hand. Okay. And like when she came out, I would rip it. And if I was holding the bigger rip, I was like, it was a good luck charm. It was good. Like, she was going to say yes. I really don't think you had friends. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, I had friends. They had, they had oh, to have been freaks, Cameron. too. Oh, but Cameron. I sh- I, I'm like, why am I knocking on my own door, first off? Why am I? It's my house. Yeah, why am I not going in? So I would literally knock. She'd come to the door, and I'd be like, <laughs> and I would just sit there and hold it. And I was like, Mama, um, you think I could st- stay tonight with Connor? And if she, I swear to God, if she would say no, I'd be like, I could not see your mom saying no. Oh, my God. she I mean, she never wanted to, but when she did, dude, I was such a dad. My brat. dad was the go ask your mom or go ask Jessica. And oh, I'm like, shit. oh, if my I, God. Oh, I'm so glad they're here for this. Whenever I wanted to go to a friend's house, her ass, my mom, would be like, Who's there? What's the social security number? <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> Let's open up an investigation. Yeah, she's like, what's the mom's number? What's the dad's number? Where they live at? I ain't seen them. I don't know if they wash their dishes. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I want to go play. You're like, I want to go play PlayStation. She's like, what color, what color is the wall? See, the we, our like, friend group was so tight. Like, me, Cindy, Lindsay, and Shakayla. We had to, like, sit there and have, like, a plan. Like, it was like a fucking whiteboard. Okay, yeah. your mom's dropping off. My mom's picking up. Okay, but next week, your mom's going to have to drop off so my mom can pick up. Like, I hated that yeah. so much. Like, having to decide who was picking up and going where. I never went to a friend's house because of <laughs> I never got that experience. Dude, I don't know why. I think a lot of – at the time, I thought I was just weird and the only one, but I think a lot of kids did it. I would go and stay the night, and then I'd get scared and, like, homesick. I would cry at night. I would literally cry and have to call my mom. She'd have to come pick me up. Yeah, so she got yeah. tired what? of it. That's like, how she started no. saying no. She was like, you're gonna, I was you're never gonna home. call me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, and I was just like. Damn. I was at a different friend's house. Almost my dad still to this day. He's like, Livia was never home. She's a nomad at uh, eight. <laughs> I did. I was like, I'm going to Hayden's tonight. I'm going to Cambria's tomorrow. I'm going to Sydney. Like I was never home. Damn, you were lit as a kid. The hell? I just had different friend groups, so I had to like make sure I hit all the. I had like three friends and I had three crying spots that weren't my own house. <laughs> I, um, I would be having so much fun. The second it was time to go to bed, they're like, Oh, I'm tired. And I'd literally be like this, be like, uh, just super tired. And they're like, All right, let's go to bed. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, mommy. <laughs> Mom, I need to come home. Yeah, dude, it's bad. <sighs> All right, um, let's do a quick pop culture because we're about to have Leo Skeppy on. Um, so I think it's time for pain. Everybody, for a segment. <laughs> pop. I think it's time for people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop, pop culture, pain cam. Pop culture, pain cam. Boom, bitch. Go ahead. Wow. Ariba Dirt Cheap. You've been throwing that word around a lot today. <laughs> it's just like the power in it. No, bitch. It's, it's that. Is it the. It's the, the B. B. It's the B. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. Cam gets mad when I call him that off camera. Because he does a lot. And it's like, why? It's okay. He calls me it too. 
Because he's my kidding. I'm just kidding. What? He didn't catch that. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. He does not. He would never do that because you know you get your ass whooped. <laughs> whooped. All right, I'm going to go first. My pop culture. We're going to do one. Yeah. Go. Huh? Oh, one yeah. together. Okay. So. <laughs> I mean, what? You know that plain girl, the that motherfucker right there that oh, isn't real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, she finally has surfaced. Obviously, okay. everyone's seen it. Do you think that's the same woman? Because that's like the that's like the talk of the town. You're about to piss me. You always. I do know this. you don't like don't the conspiracies and things and, and stuff I like that. I have no idea what y'all are nature, talking about. But okay, the woman on that. When uh, she was like, there, she got she off the like, plane. I, she's like, she's like, let me off. That person is not real. She, you're going. We need to all get off the plane. Dude, like you need she, to get on the internet. What? The, go, wrong pop what? culture. Here it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a Burger King crown. <laughs> oh my God! No, dude, no. live, yeah, live, no literally, fighters. live. I literally live under a rock. Not, I live under, under a rock. Like y'all are my favorite this like girl, pop culture. This girl that, gets this, up. And this girl gets up before her plane takes off, and she's like, "That motherfucker back there is not real." She's like, crying. "Dumb viral." Everyone's recording her. She she demanded to get off the plane. Who's she referring to? No one knows. They're basically, she was saying someone next to her was not a real person. It was a skinwalker. You, you don't know <laughs> what? what? You don't know. That's not racist at all. That's you, by me. Oh yeah. A skinwalker. Like, oh you don't God. know what a skinwalker is? Stop saying it. <laughs> How do you not know? That doesn't a, sound good. It, it, it's not it's bad though. CJ. No, CJ <laughs> loves Skinwalker. He doesn't love them, but he knows what they. <laughs> he knows what they are. Of course he it's does. A, it, I'm, ba- I'm saying it. I'm articulating <laughs> it very well. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's a skinwalker. Apparently, it's oh, like a, a demon. Not a demon, but something <laughs> that is other, like out of this world. That has, shapeshifter. Yes, that has gotten it. But the, but the. All right. But an alien. Term, an the, alien. But the term is skinwalker. They get inside of. They'll take a. Per- I think in a certain community it is. I s- okay, <laughs> okay. The community, the community was salt and pepper, and that's it. That's not what we call it. <laughs> that's my shapeshifter. You got that skinwalker. <laughs> that's a skinwalker. I'm sorry. Go. Okay, right. but apparently they uh, get inside uh, a human, and the like the most. <laughs> All the accounts is like when the, when people are out by themselves, like like uh, hiking, all these things. And if you hear someone like help, help, like they're screaming for help. Oh, it's not some. Keyboard. It's to dr- it's literally to draw them out there. You think it's a regular person, sounds like a person. They get there and they kill you. Do I, y'all are missing. making me sca- like I'm like I'm getting super anxious right now. Like, is this? Are you guys making? I'm all not. This well, we don't know if it's no, real, I'm not, but I'm not sitting here stamping it, saying I believe in it. But that's like it's a it's a oh. thing. Sorry to go off your pop culture, but I just thought of something. Um, I do think mermaids are real now. Sirens, not mermaids. You mermaid. do the, the, the fucking video. thing where it was like, yeah, no, 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 no. No, listen. Yeah. My, this teacher, she resigned the same year I did. She came in my room. She's like, you inspired me. I'm resigning too. Okay. Guess what she's doing now? She's a mermaid. She's hunter? a mermaid. No, she's a mermaid. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> she's a mermaid. What like, the that's hell? What she does, does for a living. She's a mermaid. Uh, she does. I saw crack. her in Walmart. <laughs> a couple. Yeah. I saw her in Walmart. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. One more time. I saw her in Walmart a couple weeks ago when we were just talking, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm taking on the mermaid thing." For what does that mean? Well, she's, <laughs> she's a mermaid. I don't. I don't know. She she's goes, not. Yeah, she's a mermaid. What does that mean? She's she's a mermaid. She's like has the little the flippers for and shit. where like at home. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Does she, she have an like event? A, she has a pool. She's a mer like she. So she just she's does a it mermaid. Does she do events like birthdays? So she gets outsourced to sit there in a body of water and flop. Yeah. No, she doesn't. Give no, me her. Doesn't. I want her on the podcast. Yeah. Okay, She's I'll call right her here. up. She's like, it's awfully dry. I need water. I'm like, shut up. We need like, to go. find her help. I, go, I know that's a zipper right yeah, there. Like, shut up. Yeah, she's a mermaid. What? Where did she buy that at? They don't sell those at Party City. Oh, they I, do. I, I oh, they have everything at Party City. No. Oh, I can't wait for a Halloween episode. For it's such she, a long episode. She said there's a skin walker in the suit. Not a real person. She was terrified. Get me off the plane. Okay, but then she, it was like silent, dormant for like two months. But now she's resurfaced and her hair is darker. People are saying her eyes are a different color, her face is different. Like she, do, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she doesn't look like the same woman in the original video. So they're saying the original person oh, shit. saw the skinwalker, whoever the, I don't know what, Sucks not like a, a Illuminati, whatever. I don't know, but I'm saying somebody like killed her or the government, somebody like she's not even here anymore or she's captive, dead. Something. Person that and was saying like, that's a, that's that's how that. Yeah, yeah, and this is like her double like like government anyway I, okay that's obviously not true i can't wait oh, yeah. to do our I conspiracy episode but oh. i'm still confused about this whole the girl was sitting on the plane olivia god live okay never mind just cut pop culture just stop pop culture <laughs> no what's your question 
So the girl that was like accusing of the shake, shake shipper, whatever the hell it was, shake they were sitting. Shake. She was sitting on the plane next to her, and she was like, "You're not real." But now that girl's back alive. Okay, I'm gonna say it one time, very. Quick. Let's reenact it. Speed run. <laughs> Kay. Okay. I'm the woman. Okay. Ah! Scary, not real person. Get me the hell off this plane. Yes. She gets off. The she, one that was yelling gets me, off. He gets the off. Woman. Oh, she you get off. She, she gets off. <laughs> okay. That's Peyton. I'm she. She gets off. Scared, scared, scared. Ow, creepy, scary. <laughs> get me off plane now. Okay. <laughs> I get off plane. Yes. No one hears, sees anything for me two months. Yeah. Like darkness. I'm got I don't I have no social media. No one sees a picture of me. No one sees me. There's not an interview. There's not a news report. Two months. Yeah. Just like off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden. She comes back up. There's a ton of publicity. Oh, yes. Can you explain what you saw? Da, 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 da. But I look completely different. Oh, shit. Thank you, Liv. <laughs> oh, that's scary. I'm not leaving my house. <laughs> There's fucking shake. What, what are they called? She shake. said, shake she said There's they have shake walkers and, and skin shifting sons of bitches. I'm not walk going yeah. outside. Like, I'm going to be walking my dog and I'm going to hear help and I'm running for the hills. Yeah, you shouldn't have said that, Cameron. That, no, that's I, really going to stick No, if with you want to, I mean, it's, I don't think it's that creepy, but for real, that's what, it, apparently that's what it is. You know who, you there's know. Like, there's like documentaries on everything. You, oh. There's documentaries on everything. So yeah. we could be shake, sh or. No, we can't. I'm a man of God. God damn said, it. So Liz. we could be shake shack. <laughs> We oh, could be, so these people, okay, okay, we could be Jordan Shipley. I see why. The fuck? <laughs> All right. That was a great uh, pop culture. That yes. was pop, pop culture with Payne and Kim. Pop culture with Payne and Kim. Oh, Ooh. all right. We have another hour for you guys. Yeah, put your hat back on. Um, <sighs> take your clothes off. So uh, yeah, we have the great, off. the lovely, wonderful, funny, talented Leo Skeppy on the podcast coming up right after this quick commercial break. Um but if you want extra content of this um, episode, like I said in the intro, we get a little nasty. We little, get a little, little raunchy. We get a little funny. A little spicy. For that part, head over to Patreon, head over to the Quality Club. I don't know if it's out now, but it will be out soon. Very shortly. But the extended episode this week, we're going to a full in-depth of Los Angeles. Funny stories, how uh, my card got declined. Or I think that's in the... Leo Skeppy Leo. interview. You'll uh, get to hear it. We talk about a bunch of different stuff. Cam's constipation, how he oh put God. his finger up the sphinx. Nope. All right. All right, guys. We'll see y'all in a little bit. The You Should Know Podcast. Cam, one of our favorites are back to sponsor the episode. You know who it is. It's NordVPN. NordVPN's new offer slash discount starts on the 8th of August Ooh. until the 12th of September. Wow. I don't know why I'm speaking like Yoda, <laughs> but it's all good. NordVPN's new offer slash discount starts on August 8th, goes until September 12th. That's a good amount of time. That's a, that's a big window, if you know what I'm saying. The special offer gives users 68% off and three months extra for free for the two-year plan. NordVPN is the fastest VPN in the world. There's no buffering, no lagging while streaming, and it stops your ISP bandwidth throttling. NordVPN is also the price of a cup of coffee a month. NordVPN can save you money by purchasing subscriptions from other countries yep. at a cheaper price. That is true. It so can. if you want something that's over here, but you're over there, guess what? You can use Nord and be over there. I love me a good NordVPN. God. It can protect your data whilst traveling and using public Wi-Fi. To grab our huge discount off your NordVPN plan, go to nordvpn.com slash YSK. You can receive an extra four months for free, and there's no risk with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The link is in the episode description box below. Now on to the rest of the podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. Ooh, we got Leo Skeppy on the podcast for the first time. I was going to say back on the podcast. I was going to say back, too. I was going to say back, too. It's what we normally do. How are you doing? We could pretend. I can, I can lean. I can lean. Uh, I'm pretending like I don't already want to leave. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I want to say this. We normally record in Dallas in our studio, and there's no AC. So the interior temperature is 110 degrees of our studio. So this feels no, phenomenal. Shout out to WTF Studios. <laughs> Round of applause for WTF Studios. No, he's 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 mind blown. No, we're not kidding either. Yeah, no, like I'm. We're so serious. I'm almost naked. After and you'll never recording. sweat either. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh. You got both. Oh. No! Oh I no! Thinking, I'm scared of the needles. <laughs> I do. It's Wait, worth it. Trust me. In the armpit, mm -hmm. I heard it's like 164 needles. Not bad. I've been through worse. Come on, tough or not, but no, no. I'm Thanks. a I'm a I'm a I'm a simple thing. I'm a weak guy. I can't do it. I'll take you. I'll hold your hand. There you go. I'm not paying for it though. Oh well, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but you you have tattoos. 
Yeah. I saw that they're doing the anesthesia tattoos where you go to sleep yeah. and then they operate on you That's like a pussy. doctor. Uh, I would, yeah, no. No. Well, I guess I'll cancel my fucking appointment. Then. Are you, you, you consider doing that? Yeah. No, it's weak as hell. I can't lie. I, I'm really I, don't, I don't even have it. Because <laughs> I had uh, prepped the show. Wait, you don't have any. Yeah, tattoos. I'm actually, I'm naked and plain and very Caucasian and white. And <laughs> just, there's nothing on me. So are you thinking of like doing like a full sleeve or are you done? I want to do so many more things, mm-hmm. but I can't because I'm in the middle of doing laser hair removal. Okay. And I'm doing it all over basically my body. So mm-hmm. once you get tattoos, you can't get laser hair removal on top of it because it'll like mess with the ink. So I have to wait till I'm done and then I can get more. But I'm do you have like, to wait like after? Is it like a long time you have to wait for like the laser hair to like set? It takes like a year to do all the treatments. So mm-hmm. like once the hair is dead, you can get more tattoos. So I'm just waiting on that. But I'm going to be covered. So your pain tolerance is that of like a Viking. Like you're yeah. you're solid. I wish I, let's, I'm gay and I'm Albanian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing hurts. <laughs> let's explain real quick because the audience is very confused because we don't ever really do guests. That's very yeah, I'm true. going to give a little explanation of good old Leo Skeppy here. If y'all haven't seen him, I don't you're living under a rock. I don't I don't know what else to say. Patrick Starr. Absolutely hundred percent Patrick Starr. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Uh iconic, funny, and humble. Do you get humble often? I feel like a lot of people say you're like rude, maybe. Who says I'm fucking Yeah, rude? what the fuck? No, no, no. Who said that? No, no, no. No, no, no. In some comments, I've seen, because we, we know we had to Oh, in the comment section, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But they're very humble guy. So this is Leo Skeppy. If you don't know him, I don't know what you're doing, but you should know him. And yeah. Oh my God, I love you. I yeah. feel like if people are on the TikTok streets, they have seen our content on the For You page, like so much. 100%. Together, 100%. give a give like a, a sixty second breakdown, and then we're gonna get into the real shit. Sixty breakdown second. Of Who's Leo? You. Who is Leo Skeppy? Six uh-uh, seconds. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very like, interested. He's like, let's make it ten seconds. Um, what do you want to know about? Like, there's just too much. Anything you'd like to share about me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm very outspoken, confident, a little bit problematic, <laughs> but like very honest, very morally driven. My character's correct. Uh, to my opinion. A lot of people <laughs> think that I'm nuts, but I'm really not. I'm very level-headed. Mm-hmm. I'm very strategic. A lot of people don't understand that about me. They think I'm like, just funny, haha, dumb. I'm the most calculated person you'll ever meet. But I've seen some things. Besides that, I'm just very like out like out with it. I'm very like accepting, open-minded. Like y'all were scared. You were going to like scare me and think this was too weird. You're like, this shit's No weird. worry at all. Yeah. Oh, we haven't. We haven't freaky. Come on. We haven't even gotten there yet. <laughs> That is true. So Let's you're go. you're from you're from are you from Texas or you just lived in Texas? I lived in Texas. I'm from Florida. That's where the crazy come from. Okay. Mm. How long did you live in Houston? A year. Did you like it? Because I lived in Houston, third ward, scared for my life every day. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't third do it. Ward, duh. Yeah, it was bad. Uh-uh. No, I loved Houston. Really? I miss it so much. I just outgrew it. Okay. Like all the opportunities out here. So I'm like, all right, I gotta go. <laughs> I st- I miss it every single day. I hate LA. That's what okay. What do you eat out here? Air. That's what literally. Oh we God. went out to Thank eat with you. our with our agent, and we went to this nice place. Everything is surrounded by shrubs, like yeah. shrubbery and leaves, and like outdoor nice Couple homeless people. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to eat a falafel wrap. Who? Yeah, I had like a, a falafel wrap. I had like a schnitzel sandwich. I was like, "What the hell am I eating right now?" It was. I'm it was so like hungry. it was grass and and leaves, and I was just like, "Where's like ribs or barbecue yeah. or some shit?" We were wondering if you had the same withdrawals. I've had a couple issues where like you don't get full. Every bill is 200 bucks oh and I'm leaving still hungry. Yeah. There's been a couple places where it doesn't advertise like vegan, but the food's just a little off. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is missing? What's <laughs> wrong real. with this? And it's vegan shit and they don't advertise. Yeah, That's misleading. Don't... I don't like that. I want meat. 100%. I go on protein, <laughs> not some plants. Okay. You, you're big into working out. That goes hand in hand with the food, right? Hmm. Okay. So, you know, you... I would describe your, like, you're like a cartoon character almost. Like, you have, like, a signature. Okay, wait a minute. You about to piss me off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's like you have a signature look. Yeah. And, you know, since you're a guest on the You Should Know podcast, I think to make you feel at home, we all just wear the same outfit. You, know? we just, you do we not just, have to. We just fun. wanted to, you know. <sighs> oh, they're trying to flirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think this you is have nice. Tattoos. Yeah. You're, you're so frail. You're so much to death, but, like, like Leo's Leo's large, he has muscle. I'm working on Maybe it. Maybe do a push up or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll cut the camera. We'll do a push up. Oh. 
No, now I'm self conscious and I'm hot. That's why he got the Rolex on, so you don't look That's at the arm. No, no, yeah. yeah. It, no, it's it's fake. He's rich. It don't matter. No, damn it, Cam. <laughs> it's like another light turned on in here when you took that off. Okay, You're I'm I understand that. Okay, I need to tan. You need to lift. So he called you. What? I can I can walk outside and work on mine. You actually have to work at something. I'm not gonna lie. We should have done this like later in the podcast because now we're committed to this. Like, oh, I yeah, can't 100%. just put on the shirt. I kind of like it. I okay. Well, thanks. I'm a, I'm so self conscious, and there's there's recording right here. They're looking at me. I promise you, I'm gonna start eating more. Why do you feel like your tits are out? You're like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so uncomfortable, right? Girl, you still got a shirt on. You fucking sweat. <laughs> no, I'm hot too, and I'm already naked. <laughs> okay, how do I how do I get the confidence of like? Yeah, being that? I okay. You have more than me, but I'm still I'm at least you're shaking. You <laughs> yeah, like you're shaking the entire set. What is happening? Te- maybe, is maybe, maybe he'll listen to you. Maybe he'll yeah. listen to you. Wait, what is the question? Just, how to be confident? How do you oh, get no, like, no. confidence to go to the gym? Because I can't, because I feel like people look at me and then like when I'm working out, I'm near death and then they take pictures with me and then I'm like, I need to go home. <laughs> Agree. So what's the issue? Going. Yeah. To the gym. Like why are you feel insecure about it? Well, just like, how do I get the confidence to be like, I'm at zero. How do I get there? To the gym confidently honestly i think you should we should go one day and i'm not just saying this because a lot of people like to pretend like you're gonna hang out afterward i will actually take you and if you go to the gym with me you'll see how i just genuinely don't give a fuck i'd be having fun i'd be dancing don't give a shit so like once you're around that you'll know how to present at the gym and you won't give a shit i'll let it rub off on you oh I'll, I, I'll try oh it's almost like i've offered that for a year but yeah it's, but okay you, I don't. But he doesn't like, like you. you. Yeah, no, <laughs> don't yeah. like. No, you hate me. It's okay. Okay. Uh, Honestly, and you could be mean to him because he's like my punching okay. bag. I love him. How, his head, right? <laughs> like on a scale from like normal to like goddamn. Where is his head at? Like, like size, size wise, like circumference. I feel it's very proportionate to the body. Oh God! Damn it! Thank you. That's a, that's. Oh my God! I'm not gonna lie. You're probably the only human that has ever said that about him. Now I'm not gonna lie. You no. got a big head, Loki. I'm just kidding. Oh, no, it's just my body. I wanted to live on you. The body's just broke. Actually, no. I'm just. If, uh, yeah. if you would have saw me when I was about 11, if I yawned too hard, I was going to fall backwards. Like it was like, <laughs> like my shit was. It was large. It was. It was really bad. I want to. It was really bad. Yeah. I want to try something with you. Try what? I'm talking about the gym. Oh. Right. I've never been, but I see videos of the gym. Right? I see. I've never been one. <laughs> <laughs> You've definitely, You've well, it's definitely been, been. It's been almost a decade since I've entered a gymnasium. Okay. The only time was when we did the, the basketball game for the DreamCon thing. That's true. Anyway, I was watching videos, right? And you know, right before they lift the, you know, they hit one of those things and they lift the big weights. You know what I'm talking about. The CrossFit little snatch? Yeah. I don't be doing that. <laughs> but they do something to get amped up, right? A smelling salt. Little- Come on, I want to try it. You want to try it with us? We got smelling salts. I've tried We've never done it. You've tried I'm it before? Fine. No. I'm We've never done it. I feel like I got punched I'm- in the face. I'm very Actually, nervous. Actually, getting punched in the face is better than that. Oh my God. Really? I'd rather you punch me than make me do that. <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. I'll do it. I know, bitch. Okay, there we go. Oh my God. Wait, who's... Can we do like, I a, rock, have we do like a rock, paper, version. scissors? I'm gonna stick to the bath salts. <laughs> bat, no, <laughs> bath, bath salts <laughs> is prison. Bath salts is, that's that's a felony. He's gonna that's, eat your big head. Yeah, that <laughs> literally, what's going you're on? turn to a zo- Oh shit. You Come smelled on. it? No. How did it smell? Just, Get your head away from the mic. Yeah, I'm, You're gonna hit it, like shit. you'll flail about. I wanna, oh, go, I wanna go last. Oh my God. I wanna go last. Okay, what, like a one to 10 scale? Just do Am it. I like? You just, just do it. I just looked at myself in there. I look so small. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! How is oh. it? How is it? Oh, it is exact like to the T. What you think? Look at my. It's immediately watching. I'm it is to right. the. T, it is to the T. What you think it is? Watching. Is there the anything video. in it? Wait. I, is there anything in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it like pills? Uh, it's a pill of fucking death. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh fuck! I'm trying to find it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Two. oh, no. oh, no. oh no. you belong under the jail. You just did two. No, it's oh. like if you snort a swimming pool, the whole thing. <laughs> no, literally, like fresh chlorine. It's like if you went, like you tried to hold your breath underwater, I, I, but you intentionally. No, seriously. <laughs> Imagine doing that and then going for a PR, though. I see. I mean, oh. you're about to freak. Christ no, God. you're too weak for this. Oh, I guarantee it. Go right I'll to the like nose. Sniff. Right to the nose. Sniff. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> no, my no. shit's still warm. Not the little E. Warm. He said, eh. He said, oh. It hurts, don't it? It's like a pool. You're right. Yeah. I just shit. I just took a dive. Holy shit. I'm Holy crying. shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Dog, I shit you, know, you want to smell it, too? <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> I know. We're about. I'm gonna go straight into our first. Would you rather? You gotta go. I can't see shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh, give would him you a kiss or something? Would He's you? Like, not okay. <laughs> would you, Leo Skeppy? Would you rather glow bright pink every time you're attracted to somebody, or glow bright red every time somebody annoys you? It is vibrant. <laughs> like the Earth can see it. Good- I would love the red thing. The red. So I don't have Somebody to say you're pissing me the fuck up. I just be like, you just, like I'm you just, red. You just look at me like, oh shit, sorry. Right. Okay. I prefer that. Okay. Uh, what about you? What happened? I don't know where we're at, <laughs> but um, pink. That's <laughs> still. Ooh. No, yeah, that shit is. No, it's like I felt that right there. I'm not. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was Nothing. in me. You said it's in my third <laughs> eye. <laughs> pink every time you're attracted to somebody. Red every time somebody annoys you. That's the thing with me. I can't like. That would actually help me being pink every time I'm attracted to it somebody because I can't go you up. Can't, you I can't. can't. We were at. Oh, what are you just gonna like glow at somebody from across well, the room? And they'll be like, <laughs> <"There's>, <laughs> I see it. <laughs> and like, ding, just pink. <laughs> exactly. Wait, what happened? Tell him yesterday. Okay, this, I feel like Leo can definitely give you some, some bag work on this. He can give you some, some clues for sure. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm dying. So this man, <laughs> this man is a great man, looks good, everything, right? He's very confident. Well, but in the t- well, yeah, the confidence <laughs> subjective, subjective. <laughs> but when it comes to approaching someone that he mm-hmm. finds attractive, are you straight? It is yes. okay. It is he cannot do it. It's out of the question. He cannot do it. Yeah. So basically, yesterday we were on uh, Rodeo, walking past the Gucci store. Some uh, little woman was working. She was not little. She was about six two. Well, actually. some okay. little woman. <laughs> yeah. And she uh she was very attractive, and British our whole group accent. Too. British accent. He was just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So we go in. Uh, Mark was trying to find some shades. Didn't get them. Boom. We come out. Our whole group is like, Peyton, go. Just go. Just tell us up. Da, 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 da. He's like, I can't. He said, oh, my God. I'm sweating right now. He said, I'm about to faint. What would you tell him? You're, you're, you're just gonna, like giving him confidence. You're giving him your energy. Like, advi- like how to go up to it. somebody. Because I, I have a lisp, right? <laughs> Where? Oh, no. Any CHs. Yeah, like. Like chicken. Say couch. Couch, like it, 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 oh, it's, it, so it, it's it, it pokes. I've never seen a little like. It's because it's because his to- his tongue is fat as hell. It's That's actually so it's cute. a wide ass tongue. Don't, it's no, no, no. it's very wide. I, but yeah, we got. <laughs> I got you know a little too much. Oh no, we so we were roommates in college, and they were roommates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me, okay, and that, one time I hurt my hands. Right, I broke both fingers at the same oh, time. Or like God. it was like this. Right, so I was in cast. I couldn't bathe too well. <laughs> He's like, I don't make sense. You know what I mean? What you was doing with those two yeah. fingers? In, in, in that <laughs> position. I was grabbing jerseys, right? Oh. So I was like on the basketball court grabbing jerseys. No, you were not. I, I swear no, to you. No, he's a dirty bastard. I was like this. Okay, Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> I broke my phalanges, huh? You yeah. know what I mean? And so he was my roommate and I needed to bathe. You know what I mean? I needed to, I needed to get in there. He wouldn't do it, so I was oh, thinking. I'm about to say- no, but it's not like okay. But the okay, the reasoning. I said, I'm not gonna lie. I love you. I would take like an airsoft bullet for you, not a real one yet. But <laughs> <That's> fucked up. <laughs> but at the time, I said, I just, I truly think someone else falls in line before me to to wash your ass. And and it's, I don't know if that was rude. I don't know if that was doing the most. But I just, it was, it was Fair. what my heart felt. I said, I, f- I feel like someone else could do this. So you're siding with him. No, I'm just saying it's valid. I'm validating yeah. him before I roast them. Okay, so he's a bad oh. friend, right? Wait, how close were you back then? Very close. Very close. All the time around each other, we were. Yeah. We were. We you, were. Know? <laughs> you know what I mean? So okay. Go, so, okay, but ask but ask him now. What are we exing? So <laughs> basically, the same scenario, because he loves to ask this now because he thinks I've like betrayed him. Yeah. If you had a friend, let's just do it. Do you have a friend that you would die for? Yeah. Okay. If that friend broke said hands, needed... Back, ass, everything washed. You washing it? The webbing too. If there's no one else that falls in thank, line, I'm doing it. Thank you. You didn't say that. I said, I feel like there's someone else that is in the line, in the hierarchy. But if I was the last resort, give me a sponge. So who was high, who did you think was higher in line? We're in college. Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's the longest you've gone without bathing? Uh-uh. Who was first in line? <laughs> there was there was multiple people that could have 
you know, they came over to the room quite often. That's a, they had they had fun little what are we doing? Netflix, Girls? Netflix moments. Yeah, yeah. But that's embarrassing. Hey babe, can you wash my nut? <laughs> Get the webbing. Like Mr. Yeah. Krabs over here, like <laughs> Yeah, but I, I'm, suppo I'm supposed to just pause my show and get him and scrub his ass? Yeah, and look me in the eyes when you do it, too. And that, that's where I drew the line. Because he said, he said, can we just, can you look at me? He said, I want it to feel- No! Like you did it? Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> no, okay. I didn't do it. No. The line friend. was already drawn, but it was penciled. When he said that shit, it was Sharpie. Like, I was I like, I, I can't. know he's getting a good spot. You know what I mean? Is it's it's you like a dog? You're going to start kicking? No, it's it's like, <laughs> like, a, like a- I twitch a dog. or something. Like, you get like one of those? Like, oh, like a Q-tip. Like a- like a Q, that's a thing, right? I don't know. A good, good Q-tip. Do you lick the Q-tip before you stick it in the air? Lick it. Oh, oh God, do it tonight. Are oh you God. kidding me? Come on, bacteria. No, well, okay. I, I'm a dirty guy. I've gone, I've gone uh, three weeks without bathing. Why are you before. proud of that? Th You've circled back oh to that God. twice. I <laughs> yes. tried to avoid it the first Thank time. You. What the fuck? Thank you. It's three public weeks? knowledge. No, yeah. it is. From it like is. surgery or what happened? Oh, just pure sadness. <laughs> you Dev know what I mean? Devastated, sweaty loneliness yeah. is what I would describe Girl. it as. But it's also a little bit of laziness. Because oh, no, showering right. is a task. It's a whole process. The yeah. worst part is getting wet. I don't like getting wet. You know what I mean? You get it. What is, okay. And any girls that watch you are now aware of how out of touch you are. Girls have to shave, exfoliate, do all kind of shit. All you have to do is get in there with a bar soap and wash your ass. Literally. And you're like, it's too much. Well, yeah. I, I, ha I huh? do it like for events like this, I bathe. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> but I appreciate it. It's it's gonna uh, like, but it doesn't last long. Okay, you know look, what I mean. Look, at maybe you fingers. need you look need to have fingers. someone that you're like you're stimming, hooking up with, because then you'll want to like bathe. Yeah, no, but like I you'll feel like, want you'll want to be an A plus. Always. Yeah, like you'll want to. Not I. I'm me a hundred percent of the time everywhere I go. If you want me, it's gonna smell like bacteria. It's gonna smell like an earthquake wherever <laughs> I'm at. You yeah, know what okay, I mean? So maybe don't go up to girls. That's what I'm saying. So now I get why he's like shaking in his little boots. Yeah, he's like, he's I like, smell like uh, shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. And, no. And Don't he, go up to them. And he dead ass says this. Like, we'll be walking. Swear to God, like 30 minutes out of the hotel room. We just started. And he's like, he's like, Cam, sniff me. I'm like, bro, you do not smell. I swear to God, I'm not kidding. He, it's like, I, yeah. I think it's mental at this point. Like sniff me like what? Like, do I like, smell bad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All 30 minutes into it. So you're concerned about smelling bad, but you don't take a shower. Well, it's normal. Thank you. My concern comes when Welcome. I do take the the uh, objective of trying to smell good. That's whenever the confidence leaves me because yeah. I tried. When it's just dirt, when it's his natural funk, he's fine with it. But if he's like, I showered, I put this on, da da da, we're stepping out. He's like, oh fuck, I stink. <laughs> Every time. No, it's just cologne, babe. You're not used to it. Every time. <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, like, come on. It's just a little time for it. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you've never gone like a, like a a long amount of time without bathing. No, no. I have a Thank seven you. step skincare routine. Oh, that's after I shower. Hell yeah. I'm very big on hygiene. Me too. So you're asking the wrong guy. I put on three different body oils. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what a body oil is. Yeah, you don't even know what a body bath is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, body but, scrub. But body can you method. smell me now? Like, and I'm saying to come smell me because you might pass out. It's like that time. Wait, 30. you said you showered, no? Yeah, yeah. But it was, it was I don't know if I want to say this. What? You want to say it was a quick one? <laughs> you sick bitch. It was like a whole bath. Like I was, Not like a bird bath. You put your dick in the sink. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I've never. I've never heard of a bird bath. You've All never right, done that? that is, yeah. No. Like after a hookup before you leave, is like you just do a little bird bath and get out? I just take a fucking shower. That's you full that on is showering that's incredible. in places? That is incredible. Well, I, girl. Um, <gasps> he's a married oh, man. Oh my God, I forgot. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I love her though. I made yeah. I made a face that she'd probably beat my ass. If she, she, I was like, get him, bitch. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I have a question. I have a would you put rather. Your fuck, put your hands down. Put your hands down. What's wrong with his hands? Yeah, he, I'm just a- He's trying to put the Rolex. Yeah, he's like, he's like <laughs> doing that shit. You remember that when that shit was popping? When Dude, people do the gloves? The gloves. That I used to want popping. to be a Jabberwocky. Oh, no. No, the fuck you did not just say that. Uh-uh. No. What was the a question? A Jabberwocky. What was the question? <laughs> no, you didn't. I don't want to talk about that. I can dance really good. Oh, the fuck. No, you can't. No, you can't. His, I swear to, I swear to God, when we were in college, his go-to move was the vampire. <laughs> You have to show him. You have to show What's him. What's your go-to move? You have to show him. No, fuck that. Show him. Then ask. Yeah, like, give me like a little beat. I'm not. Give me a beat. Mm -mm. No, yeah. I'm, I'm scared. Not, I don't want to see this. My Dr. Just, Dre. I'm like, yeah. I'm not. I need a little beat. I can't go off the rhythm of my head. There's voices in there. I can't. Just go. Just right, go. Here we go. It's like right here. Uh huh. And you're making eye contact at this point. You're right to whoever you want. Put that one up and then you drop it right there. And that's, that's a vampire. You look like Bunny Foo Foo. <laughs> 
It's not a vampire. That shit's hard, right? That's good. <laughs> What's that skinny guy doing? I'm not the sorry. skinny guy. <laughs> Should I put my shirt back on? No, like, what's going on? No, you're good. Though. All right. Um, hey, you were asking a question. What was your would you rather? My would you rather is, would you rather eat a squee or clean a bathroom with only toilet paper? Eat a what? What the hell is a squee? I'm right Like a squeegee? You. No, a squee. What are you we know it. We know what squeeze are. We got squeeze. It's like, so you got dead skin on the bottom of your foot. That's a squee. You know what I mean? Wait, your dead skin is a squee? Yeah. You I've never squee. heard that in my life. Never heard it in my life. Yeah, my mom, whenever I, I had- I thought it was, uh, oh, callus. And then no, you rip it off. That's right here. Dead or dead skin. Yeah, keep it simple. No, Why are we reinvent? All right, Webster's. When I was a kid, right, my mom would pick my squeeze, and it was the best part of a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> You know what I mean? Your mom, God, your mom's a I'm two seconds from getting up. <laughs> yeah, and what the fuck? Told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Would you rather? Wait, yeah. Eat a squeeze. How big is it? Um, normally, my squeeze were like that, like this circle right here. It's like a pepperoni. Yeah, yeah. like a, it's a good old squeeze. Like a pepperoni of skin. Yeah, oh. it, it's dead skin. So it's a little firm. Like jerky? Yeah. Oh, you fun. know what I mean? Or would you Is rather, it mine? Yeah, it's your I'll foot. Eat mine. I love myself. I eat anything. Wait, <laughs> <I love. laughs> are you like. You didn't even give the alternative and like a chance. What was the other one? <laughs> Clean a bathroom with only toilet paper. He's like, no, because it's gonna like squeeze. pill up and it's gonna take too long. He's like, I'll just, just give me pop a, a little pepperoni and be done. Pop a skin pepperoni is something I thought I'd never hear in my entire life. What oh is my god? What is and bird bath, but you learned new things. Yeah, today? hey, today I'm learning shit. <laughs> what is the strangest thing y'all be eating off yourselves? What kind? Who's? What is that? What? Who, how do you <laughs> think of that? <laughs> You know what I mean? The, what we're talking about. Pepper. I've I eaten, think like I've like pulled the skin off like one yeah. of my calluses from lifting. Yeah, and I've like ripped it, and then I like chewed. I was like, why the fuck is it so hard? Like I didn't like swallow it, like, it, but I've like salty. Like chewed on it. I've done the same thing. I've had to rip off a callus. Like sometimes from you can't pull it. Like you have to rip it. Yeah. You don't Wait, know but, about but that. you don't have calluses from lifting. No, I have really soft hands. You don't my hands. They're no. a little clammy right now because I'm hot. No, they are, soft they, hands they honestly are like a little. Wow. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, you beat me. Wow. No, I, I don't lotion. You don't? I, I don't lotion. What do you do? Come in peace? With the yeah, I just, I just kind of exist. Like I'll, You don't lotion anything. No, I'll bathe and then drink a lot of water. Sometimes Are you I'll fucking lotion. with me? No, I swear to you. Because you have real good skin on your face. So oh, do I you don't. Not well, put moisturizer or anything. I paid for it. Yeah. I paid. What do you mean you paid for it? Well, so back in the old days, right? You couldn't see my skin because it <laughs> was talk like about pepperoni. You, you ever been to Domino's <laughs> and you ordered a good old pizza from a Domino's? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That was my face. <laughs> and like then, what acne? Yeah, yeah, and then so I bought Accutane. You know what that is? But you don't like put anything on your. Don't, you don't you, put you lotion have, on you anything. One, you don't. I have a moisturizer. I must say, okay, yeah, lying yeah. bitch. I knew it. Yeah. No, I but that's not good skin. No, but that's just like I, I go like this. You get your you get your T spots. Your what? Your T spots? The hell is a T? Is that a real thing? Or T zone? T, T zones? You know what I mean? <laughs> See, I don't. Okay, I. It's crazy. I have more of a routine than you do, but that's all thanks to Olivia. So yeah, you have a wife. I used to just fucking wash my face with somebody date him and like day. tell him what to do. Like I have a sister, so she trained <laughs> me well. Like she taught me how to do all yeah. these self care things. Yeah. yeah, you need a girlfriend who will like take care of you. One hundred percent. It's just the initiative of like. Do, I just don't like spending a lot of time in one area. <laughs> I get like crowded. Like in a bathroom, hate it. Worst place in the in the whole room. You know what I mean? In the whole in the whole establishment is a bathroom. Well, you've never done fun things in a bathroom. Right? Like, oh, man. <laughs> that's true. I have. Maybe that's why you hate it. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like after a shower, you you unclothe. You know what I mean? You got to wait for the water to get at the right psi. You got to get it at the right temperature, and you step in, and then you, you get in there. And I don't know how to swim, so I'm almost at death. Do you face the water? We were just talking about that. Just talking. Wait, about what's it. the right answer? What do you do? What's your answer? I'm tall enough where I'm right above the water. Shit. But you're tall too. That's yeah. Turn the fuck around if you feel like you're drowning. <laughs> no, but then- <laughs> What? This that's gets literally, cold. That's literally what I said. Do like a rotisserie chicken and just spin around. I get dizzy. I have bad- uh, and, and No, he sucks. I'm, no, he we sucks. We just need to put him down at this point. He sucks. Everything I say, he's got to fucking count like a horse. <laughs> no. I'm going to break his ankle so we got to put him down. Oh, just shoot him in the head. No, he's- I was thinking like more like euthanization or something. Oh, was I was- like, Shoot him cool. in the backyard. Yeah, just, just quick and- no, no, we can't do open casket. Yeah. Oh, we can't do like just a one bullet. <laughs> Side no. shot. It's, it's gonna be for him. Yeah. Whole oh, hand on me. Yeah, no. Are y'all good? He's scared. No. <laughs> He's He's like, are we, do I need to? No, you, no, you're strange. You are. We love you though. I love you. I can't speak for Leo, but. Do you think we're getting there? 
Do you think you could outrun a horse? <laughs> Hell yeah. Finally. Fuck yeah. You really you truly believe that? Yeah, because I'm a kick it. <laughs> I'm okay. a stripped a little bit. Okay, if it's are you are we is it an MMA match? Are you snapping its leg? Then you're racing him? Imagine you're no, you're in your race. own you're in your own lane. Somebody just three, two, one, pew. You gotta run. You're beating a horse. Pew. <laughs> I'm gonna start running. If he starts winning, I'm gonna trip him. I'm gonna do something. And then talk shit and then like scream run by it. the <laughs> scare it. It'll be like, oh, I can yeah. go that way. You okay. See? So he said he can outrun a horse without cheating. He yeah. just thinks he's faster than a horse. Would you agree or disagree? You ever met a I've horse? never seen you run. It's I'm not a good sight. <laughs> it is not a good sight. Like a baby giraffe or what? Yeah, a little knock knee action. A no, little, not the knock knee. <laughs> a little <laughs> knock knee. Not, maybe a little, maybe this guy right here on the arm. It's it's not uh, good. It's uh, not a good look. My knees. And the little hands. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, I talk a lot with my hands. <laughs> I think my, I think my ears fucked up from the salt. I think it's because of my diet. Oh, oh, Leo. We. Oh my God. Okay. Let's say a regular week, no events. Maybe just regular week to you. Okay. How many times are you gonna eat fast food? Not f not LA shit. Not None. greens and wheat grass shots. <laughs> fast food. I don't eat You're fast food. Oh okay. So healthy individual. How many times do you eat fast food? Three times a day. He's not lying. I swear to God. I know that shit tastes like battery acid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> battery. Uh -uh. No, a lot of water. It's I, the water is not clean. Your shit is lined with like metals at this point. <laughs> Like your insides are destroyed. He that goes back to his laziness. He he do, he will not cook ever. I have meals sent to me, and then he doesn't eat those, and he still goes out and gets McDonald's and Whataburger. Oh, you know this. I fuck up some Whataburger. So sweet and spicy bacon burger, large fry, large diet coke, spicy ketchup, make you want to slap your grandma twice on a Wednesday. You know what I mean? That's I've never heard of anyone order that from Whataburger. What the fuck? What do you get? Honey butter chicken biscuit, oh. patty melt, fries. That's like a drunk meal, though. Maybe that you is. only go there when you're drunk. You oh no, I can, like go, I can fine go, dining. I can go stone cold. Three p.m. on a Thursday. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. The only time you should go to Whataburger is when you're drunk. Mm, I mean, it's definitely the best when you're drunk. But I could go in the middle of the day for yeah. a lunch. Mm. Oh, good old Mickey Mac, Mickey McDonald's. You know what I mean? What do you get from Mickey Macs? I don't go there. They if do. you were to go there, he doesn't chicken nugget. See, have you seen the video? Make flurries. The Oreo. Oh. Lactose, but it sounds good. Yeah, no, like everything is wrong with him. Everything. He, he's just lactose. Every like, no matter you nothing you can cheese. say, he'll just be with it. No, I'll, I'll fuck up a cheese, but it has to be. It has to be like the right cheese. You know what I mean? It has to be on a pizza, or it has to be um, <laughs> on a pizza. Yeah, pizza. Why are you sing that? Are you? You know what I mean? He's dissociating. Oh, oh my fuck, dude! I thought that was like insidious. I thought you were seeing some shit. I was like, oh my god! It's it's like, what's in the corner? No, it's got to be on a like, on it. Like, it can't be. I can't just eat it like a, like a, like like a cheese. You know what I mean? He doesn't eat pasta. Oh no, makes no me pasta. Egg. You doesn't like pasta? eat eggs. He doesn't eat eggs. You don't eat eggs. Oh no, it's the stench. And then you get the thought process about it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? I don't want something in a shell that's just been harvesting in there, and then it's all wet. I'm a texture kind of guy. I would love to. Thank you. Applebee's, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I love steak. I love a good steak. steak Have you been to catch steak? I'm broke. Go with your agency. <laughs> Business dinner, bitch. I'll take you to catch steak. But eventually. I would love to. I'll be yoshing it in. You gotta shower first, though. You I, have to shower. I can, I'll take a. And you have a, to try his. Ooh, two stipulations. You have to bathe and try a skincare routine. <sighs> but I'm, I gotta make sure I'm not allergic. To it. God, I'm telling you. Take a fucking Benadryl and yeah. grow up. <laughs> oh, I love Benadryl. You ever fight off the sleep of a Benadryl and then you're your third dimension after that? Just Don't ever take Ambien. That fight off the Benadryl. Yeah. Okay. You've taken the Ambien? Ambien? No. My so my uh my wife's mom, she used to take it to help her sleep. Obviously, one night she literally woke up, was sleepwalking, and almost bought us courtside LA tickets to a Lakers game in the middle of her sleep. Mm -hmm. And she had no clue. You be doing some wild shit. Dude. You go to sleep. Don't she cut off she, ambient sleep. She applied for the police academy. <laughs> <laughs> she applied to be a fucking cop. And the next day she woke up and they called her and they were like, like this is a, well. they were like, this is a really interesting <laughs> application. You have 20 years in, in uh, education and now you, you want to be like a, a police officer? She was like, I don't know who you're talking to. I never did that. Mm -hmm. You thinking about something or just? He left. He's gone. No, yeah, my, my yeah. card got declined yesterday. Oh, Where? it did. At uh, a jewelry. Ice Bros. Ice Bros. Yeah, what you was getting? Well, obviously not. <laughs> My shit didn't go through. Okay, but to be, I, I got your back on Thank this you. one. To be fair, it didn't. He's gonna hate this. He's gonna hate you for this. By the way, wait, wait. it didn't go through, or it didn't get declined because he didn't have money. It didn't go through because he has a shit bank. 
Shit bank. What bank? I'll believe it, but who? Credit union. <laughs> I got it when I was like fourteen. Yeah, grow up, right? Like two words to fix that. I feel like that's not a real bank. Oh, it is. There's only two branches in the right. So, so you know how if it's like a big purchase, do they just? Is it like a text option? They think it's fraudulent. It literally just sends you. It's like yes or no. You say yes, it goes through. His shit is like someone has to rotary dial him. They call him. They're like, hey, are you in Los Angeles? We're going to need your exact coordinates. And like, yeah, so it got declined because of that. But uh, it's definitely, why are you, you're, why? Don't do that. What is your zodiac sign? Yeah. <laughs> uh, aquatic. Weird ass bitch. Where, <laughs> he said what aquatic. is yours? Aries. Oh, chaos. What's your sister's zodiac sign? Chaos? I have a I'm brother. Chaos? He's born in... He's born in. He's born in. Time out. I'm chaos. Do you not get it? Wait. Yeah, over your head. It's fine. Wait. I didn't even the hear. The listeners get it. He said, "What's your sister's zodiac sign?" I was so. You don't have a sister. That's I what I said. Wait. Am I slow too now? I'm. Y'all be making shit up. Are we stupid? I don't have a sister. You had the whole joke about how you pretended to have a fucking sister. Oh. I was waiting on you to oh, make one up, right. dumb bitch. Hey. I didn't know you watched that's it. You don't even watch our own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like fake ass. She lived in San Antonio. Hey, hey, that's real. That's real. You got Aries, chaos, and you were just in okay, your own no, fucking okay. world. Okay, I'm sorry. We. What is the chaos? What is that? What does that mean? Now I'm gonna. Like you know, like the Tasmanian devil. That's Aries. That's an Aries. Holy shit! Just spinning around, fucking shit up. Kind of cute. The sometimes. spinning around part, yes. And then there's definitely ADHD. But like when they like be still and just shut up, they're cute. They're cool. And they okay. go on their little tailspin. See, but my tailspin is like, it's that. That's one of the. What does that mean? Does that. It's flip and dip. No, that's what it is. Back never, in your zen? never done dip, but it's like it's one of my little stim things. I'll just be sitting there and just be like, "You'd have to do it. you." You actually did that. Why did you chew that? It only went up the right one. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> holy sh! Oh my god! I just got like secondhand salt. I was confused uh, when, you, uh. when you said the thing about the sister because normally when people like we're talking to people like, "Oh, I love the podcast," and they've really never seen it, mm -hmm. so I was kind of expecting that. Holy sh! Oh, there is one thing that I brought because I want to see it for myself. But actually, I'm kind of scared now that I've hung out with you. Oh, God. Because you talked a lot of shit about this, and I want to see it for myself how you fucking eat this. <sighs> oh, my God. Are three musketeers? <laughs> Look at his. Give me that back, actually. <laughs> yeah, he's Not. like, this, oh, this, no. this. He's like, three musketeers. First of all, look at this. Thank you so much. Oh, you're 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 sent from the heavens above, aren't you? So you, you what you do? It's right. It's like a space food at first, huh? You get one of these. Oh God! You look at that. Hmm? First, you make eye contact with the thing. You know what I mean? We can all not stare at me. I feel like this is very awkward for me. You know what I mean? You have to go. Normally, I'm in the piece. Like I, I'm butt naked with the snuggie on, eating this. No, he. No, he's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Listening uh -uh. to the weekend. Okay. Yep. So you get just the. My mouth's real dry. Okay. Just, and then you look at look at the infrastructure of a goddamn Three Musketeers. Are you kidding me? Look at that. It looks mm -hmm. like shit. And then wait, this one doesn't have nuts. They don't. Oh my! They don't fuck. have. They nuts don't have nuts. That's they a Milky Way. Nuts. I've already wait, said is that. Milky Way does it have a nuts. I don't think. I don't. I think so that's a Snickers. Snickers babe. has nuts. Snickers has nuts. <laughs> we literally argued this off camera. He looked like he was about to make out with. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. He's a freak. Help is needed. You want one, Sean? Uh uh. No. After Jesus Christ, put your arm down. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> is it bad? Down. Oh, it's bad. Mine's mine's bad too, though. Wait, you smell? I'm upset. It might have been the salt, it might have been the funk. <laughs> no, I've been compared to like a raccoon tail. My stench. Speaking of tail, you should tell them how you had a tail. I had a tail in middle school. You know the people that wore like the Elmo shirts with the tail and like like a backwards fitted yeah. and like did the cat daddy. Usually they grow like up off to be of furries and shit. Yeah. I've been offered. Have you done it? No, I get too hot anyway. Is that too weird for you? It's just too hot. Okay. Like, it, like, and I don't understand like the functionality of that. How would you operate out of that thing? I have no clue. You know what I mean? Would you, would y'all ever go LARPing? What the fuck is that? Are you nuts? He's, he's, a good LARP? He sounded offended. Okay, Kung Kung. He sounded offended. <laughs> Don't get on me. What Live action, can't make an R with fingers, role play. So it's like when motherfuckers literally go out there and have a full-blown Star Wars battle in the middle of like a park. You get dressed up, you're in character. You get dressed up, you get like a group of like, so it's like Pokemon Go, but like a, there's incentive behind it. Like you want to live out a dream. Yeah. So like take your favorite fantasy. Imagine we're all dressed as wizards and we're out there like, oh, yeah. Ooh, gonna... yeah, in the middle of a field. <laughs> 
So if we take my and like actual... people are literally driving past us, looking at us, calling us idiots. What's like an adequate amount of like this is I, I'm asking for myself at this point. What's an adequate amount of time to bathe? Time? Yeah, like duration of in the water. Like max, if you're a man, like ten minutes. It doesn't. Th- you could knock it out in like three, five. There we go. I'm a two and a half. Get out of there. You wash your feet. Ye- it's a long way. You sick bitch. No, nope. no the water just cleans it, right? No, if it has, if if the if the shower's got one of those things where you grab it in the handle, like a nice rod, like a handle where you don't fall over. You Are you talking I'm... about the thing that sprays water? No, you're talking about like a ho- like you, a ho- you know what I you know what I mean, like a support beam almost. Yeah, you no, like, you you grab it and now it's yours. The direction of the water, it's dependent on you now. The little handle. Okay, thing. so yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think that's washing them? Yeah, I'll get in there. I, I only touch my toes though. I have a big fear of that. Like I've, they his get toe, stuck. His toes are disgusting. Yeah, I have one toe that's worse. My other nine, beautiful. My feet pretty as fuck. <laughs> really? Do you get you get uh, man at petty feet done? <laughs> <laughs> you get feet done. I can't accept man up pit, uh, uh, feet done. You, do? you don't. You don't. No, I have you ever? Every once in a while. Okay, I was about to. So say. you do them yourself. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. It's because you have talent. I have ingrown toenails, so I have to like get into the corner and like. It hurts like hell. Like I get yes. surgery on my feet like every like two weeks. Ooh, shit. Oh shit! I need to go get one. I need to go get one then. Oh, so last week on the podcast, put your guns down. I was talking about. <laughs> Whoa! I had to get stuck. <laughs> Relax. He said, "Oh." So my toenails <laughs> just co- cocks that bitch back. I'm like, "Oh my god!" No, my toenails got so long one time. Right, it capped the toe. No, <laughs> so it's, I had it's, to get surgery. on No, it's it. literally despicable. Like it's dis- he has talents. He has a hoof. It's not a foot. <laughs> It's what do you think you do well? Yeah, thank you. I'm, I, I'm good at podcast. Good podcast. Well, what else? <laughs> That's it. That's it. No, I'm a good friend. Mm. I'm a really good friend. Okay. I'll wash ass. I don't, I don't need you to. Someone else falls in line. But if it, if it See, came that, down to that. That's another thing. I wouldn't put you in that thing. I know you die for me, but I'm like, damn, they would take a bullet. So I'm not going to make, I wouldn't ask him to do that. Oh. You see? That's valuable. It's like, just as much as you respect me, I'm like, damn, I wouldn't even make him do that. And you're like, look me in the eyes while you wash my crack. And then you get mad when I say, no, you know, you got a good spot. If I don't look at you, you know what I mean? <sighs> you get it. Yeah, next topic. <laughs> Leo, what is your most toxic trait? <sighs> that you think, not that others have told you or even friends have told you, but you, what do you think is your most toxic trait? In relationships? You could, in general, in general, just you. It could, ah, uh, sure, relationships, relationships. Oh, shit. I think it's, like, how fast I will write someone off. Mm. It's, like, if you do one thing I don't like, I'm, like, nope. Like, this guy at the gym oh. had, like, a flip phone case. Mm-hmm. And I was, like, nope, done. Wait, wait, a <laughs> oh flip phone case? Like, it's half wallet, those ones? Yeah. Oh, I, mm-mm. If you are under 40, should not have that. Yeah. It's, it's a functional piece it of It just machine, turned right? me off. But, like, also, like, if you, this is so, just fuck it. Like, if I'm at the gym, and it's spill like, it? I like a certain guy at the gym. I got a question on him. I'd be, like, watching him. If he mm-hmm. talks to anybody else, I'm like, mm, you too, you too friendly. <laughs> I don't like him. I like, like, I will the, never that, date a guy I, in, like, customer service. If your job is to interact with people all day, nah. Oh, so yeah. it's, like, just speaking to a human. Like, not even you see them flirting. No, but he, he's no. saying if their job is to speak, there's a potential that someone will try to flirt with them. And then they flirt back because it's a job. It's not flirt with them, flirt back. It's, like, if you just... It gives you like your. It's about what the job gives you, and it's a skill of like not being scared to go up to people. Uh, it's like I don't want you going up to. I don't want you being comfortable going up to anybody. I feel that. You know. I, feel that. I well, think like, that is the most relatable to you I've ever heard. What do you mean? To cut someone off like that, just write like, them up, like one thing. Or, I might have a question. <laughs> I just smell like sewage all the time. Yeah, but, that uh, work. No, yeah, I, I cut people off quick too. It's because I have bad trust issues though. Same. My yeah. hand, my hands are trust no one. That's oh, a wow. cool tattoo. That is sick. Thanks. Does that hurt up there? Mm-mm. The the knuckies hurt. No, no, oh, it would hurt me. It like doesn't feel good, but like <laughs> it's not like yeah. you don't have to go to sleep for it. Yeah. For no, but I'm saying like whenever they give me a, like a big tattoo on on on, on my tummy, you know what I mean? They can put me put me to bedtime. Right. Get a tattoo on my tummy. Yeah, like thug life. 
The fact that you just said that means you should not fucking get one. What is this you have over here? It's a big old bird. Just a bird on on the bird. Yeah. I'm, it's so wet. I did that and it was like a damn river went down. Did the you like get the Botox? I'm telling you, like, I used to sweat. It's back. actually, it's funny you say that because all of our fans have been telling him to do that. Because, like, he sweats immensely every episode. And you don't smell. Right now? Because you don't sweat when you have the Botox. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. That'd be life-changing for you. But don't you have to redo it like LASIK eye surgery? Like every six months. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, actually, no. Botox, it's like every, like, four, like, three, four months. Hell, no. Bro, I'd rather you, smell you, like if, the underworld. It's like a thousand <laughs> bucks, girl. You got it. I, can't, I don't know what you think is going on. It's like 500 bucks a month. It's Just a put it to the me. side. It's a lot for me. <laughs> don't make me read you on camera, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said the underworld. That shit was funny as fuck. Yeah, I mean... Oh, do you watch Animal Planet? We can get out of here. But do, you, do you watch Animal Planet? No, I don't have a TV. What the hell's going on? I'm the weird Ooh. one. I don't watch TV. What do you I watch? like that. Like, what do you do? Read books? He lives life. I like he's, live, I read, he's, I like watch <laughs> I live, I read. Like, I like to learn things. If I'm spending time, if my attention is on something, it's because I'm getting something out of it. I'm not just Golly. mindlessly watching TV. So you never watched a good Ozark? I've never seen it. A good You? You know what that is? I watched the first season. You was good. In, 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 no, I think the second one I watched, and then she said, I wolf you, and I was over it. That was a little oh, yeah. weird. Like no, one, no, a show, sh they hey. do one thing and I'm done. I turn it off. He goes, see, I'm telling you, one thing. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. I'm glad you only watched one. I've podcast. watched like certain things. American Horror Story. Okay. Yeah. Coven. Oh, good. I've watched that like Great. six times. I watch scary things. Damn. you. Said, that's, okay. Did that, is that something that was almost rubbed off on you? Like you, you picked that up from someone else or did you just one day you're like, fuck a TV. I'm done with it. Like I want to really better myself. Or did you see try. others do it? I didn't try to cut it off and no one around me like did it. I like I had a TV when when I lived with my dad a couple of years ago. And I just didn't watch it. And I like my my interest and in, like what was fun to me mm -hmm. was like not watching TV. Like why I want to choose what I'm watching. So I would go to like YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. But like sit there and watch commercials. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's like an it's like a 30 minute a TV episode, but it's an hour long because there's, there's commercials. commercials. I'm not watching that shit. Yeah. My life is important to me. There I'm not go. wasting it on these couple ads, Gria. That's that's impressive though. Well, I don't know what to do with the rest of the day. I'm just I became very unimpressed with things like shows and movies. I'm like, eh. That's a dope. Honestly, like that's that's a level that I don't think I'll ever be able to reach, but I would like I admire that. I think that's sick. Like, literally not having a TV. I, I have to because of Olivia. She's like, babe, let's go watch this. And I'm like, all right, fuck. I'm scared of my own, like, I'm scared of my own thoughts to not have a TV. Like, I have to have something playing. Like, whenever I take naps, I have the sink running. Like, something has to be in the back. <laughs> you know what I mean? I swear to you. I have the sink running. It's decent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's take one more hit of the smelling salts. No, what? what is your, what are you... Why? You want to come? You want to try? You're like me on a night out. Yeah. You know what I mean? You really said bad salt. But it's salt, not really. sunny salt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I got to change my underwear now. Um, you right, shit is your song. I, I do that often. All right, let's wrap this no, up. No, like not weirdly. <laughs> wrap like, it up. Everybody asks Alexa, cut the cameras. <laughs> it's just like you, you test the waters, like Russian roulette. You know what I mean? It's Ooh, like you think shit. this one's going to be like, I can get that one out. This one might crowd up the environment. <sighs> Oh, he'd be having bubble guts because all he oh, eats yeah. is fast food. Oh, yeah. So you don't know if it's like a fart or like a literal like liquid a shit. shit. Like yeah. a shart, yeah. Wait, when you... This is how we're going to close out this okay. episode. When you wipe, when you go to the bathroom, do you use toilet paper? Oh. Or do you use wet wipes? Oh, okay. okay. Both. Okay, good. I use both, but... You're a little hygienic. If I run out of toilet paper, I'll get paper towels. He's not kidding. I swear to God. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm I trying want... to help your case, yeah. bitch. <laughs> but then I have a he's moisturizer like, for the rump. A what? It gets a little chat back there, so I use the moisturizer <laughs> that's on my on my eyelids, and I use that on, on, on my undercarriage. So you use the same cream for your eyelids as your taint. Yeah, I'm a functional guy. What is it? Heels? Uh, Mabel? Not Maybelline. I don't know what your taint cream is. Stop. Ozark. Uh, it's blue. It's Ozark. clear. You know what I mean? White white lid. Oh, uh, blue on the bottom. It comes in like a little like a little. You know? Oh, you use that on your ass. Yeah. It's, Does it burn? Oh, it's two seconds. Like a little, huh, and then you get out of there. The long-term effects of not doing that would be he's, a lot he, worse. he uses ball deodorant as well? Oh, yeah, man. What? Yeah. Ball deodorant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like That's a, little, a thing? Oh, yeah. If not, it would smell like a Louisiana bayou in the underpants. But you know what would help? If you would just fucking shower. Yeah. Because like I've never, one. my balls have never smelled. 
Ever. What? what? Like, even after the gym, it's like there's like nothing. See, you do that too. You, Hell yeah. you give a little, a little a touch and check. He, he was, I tried hey. to get him to check mine the other day. And That's like, oh. gay. <laughs> His, his, and I'm the gay one. That's his, gay. his his touch and check was very appropriate. Yeah. You're literally sitting there like stroking like the like your V My, line and he's shit. Like, You're like, smell going, it. yeah, yeah. I'm like, what the <laughs> like? I'm just I'm just uh, comfortable uh. with myself. Yeah, you know, I don't. No one else is gonna be if you stay that way. All right, but guys. We love you. We love Leo. You. Thank you so much. Thank Why, you. What the fuck? For coming on the episode of the You Should Know podcast. Why is he doing that? Wait, do why he made that V? Wait, are we are we gonna do it again or no? I'm not doing it again. Yeah, you don't have to. I feel like I'm He's gonna... crying. Oh, tell them uh, they already know you because you're you, but if they don't, <laughs> tell them where to follow you. Okay, you can find me on YouTube. It's my video version of my podcast, We're in Aggravated. Let me look at the camera. Hey. <laughs> and then Apple Podcasts and Spotify, you can also listen to the audio version. I have Instagram and TikTok. If you just search Leo Scapio, it'll come out. There are different names on everything. And then I just joined Snapchat because they pay me, bitch. They running me a bag. Are y'all on it? We got to talk. Okay, we, no, have, we, to talk. Talk. we have to talk. I got you. We okay. have. Yeah, we need we, to talk. Oh, my God. God. We got I'll tell you my bucket. tricks. Oh. All right. Anything uh, else? You the card won't decline. <laughs> it's just yeah. the, I gotta check the yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> That shit's just gonna say Cha-ching Whatever the noise it makes oh. Alright guys We absolutely love y'all Thank you for tuning in Make sure to go Follow Show love to Leo Fantastic guest Hilarious as always Alright guys Thank you so much for coming To this episode of You Should Know Podcast One out of ten koala bears Don't make it home to Christmas Oh that was sick <laughs> And we'll see you Hello Next uh, time I can't even hear you